good evening, everybody. How are y'all doing tonight? Thank you again so much, Gent, for the fucking sub. Welcome to Andric, and hope you have a wonderful night as well. Good to see you. Um, tonight's gonna be good shit. Um, I was like, hey, Spiral, you wanna fucking play something on stream? I couldn't fucking think of something. And then I was like, well, you know what? I got, I got a couple of ideas. At first, I was actually thinking of playing Amnesia, and I realized, wait, Amnesia's too fucking scary. Uh, especially after a full day of work, I do not have the fucking strength for that. So I said, well, I own all of the games that predate Amnesia from Frictional. Those being Penumbra Overture, Penumbra Black Plague, and Penumbra Requiem, I think. We're not going to play all of them tonight. We might, if we burn through Penumbra Overture fast enough, we might take a look at Requiem or Black Plague. But it's, the, the main show tonight is, Re is uh, Penumbra Overture. Uh, so it's a cool... Sharky, what's up? Welcome on in. I hope you have a wonderful night tonight. Thank you for dropping by. Um, so Penumbra Overture is a horror game. Uh, it's a really... Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Thank you for the host, Spiral. Thank you for the host. Um, I'm actually going to avoid introducing the game too heavily until I get my co-host on. Because I'm going to be playing this with my homie Spiral, and they are fucking amazing. Um, I'm going to give them a quick shout-out before I bring us into... I think this is the correct link, is it? Um, let me check. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna bring us down to the bar, and I'm gonna introduce us, and then we'll talk about what we're actually gonna be playing tonight. So, let's go. Spiral, you are live. Introduce yourself. Hello. You're also obscured hey, yo. by the chat box. Give me a second. Ah, ah, don't cover me in chat. Ugh, gross. What is being covered in, uh, in, in text data feel like? <clears throat> Feels like getting covered in the digital equivalent of uh, cobwebs. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God, that's yeah. disgusting. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay. God. Fuck. I remember this one time my, my, my family was renovating an old house that uh, my dad used to live in, and fucking the entire, like, heater system exploded and shit. And my, my oh. nephew was like, oh, I can tell these cobwebs are new. And my, my brother-in-law was like, how can you tell? He's like, because they're not black. They're not charred black like the other ones. Oh. The black oh. cobwebs. It was fucked up, man. I hate spiders. I, I've had some... I'm not going to talk about the spider incident again on stream. I've done it too many times. But sorry sorry about <laughs> sorry about covering you in chat webs. I, uh, I apologize. It won't happen again. There's a couple okay. on your finger there. You might want to fucking just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's times like these that I, I, I wish you had a 3D model so you could visibly do that. That would be good for right. a bit. Soon enough, soon enough. In time. So, Spiral. Wait. Okay, the bar music is all the way down. Okay. I forgot to turn the bar music all the way up to negative 12 decibels before we entered. Out, uh, but it's good that I didn't, because otherwise I would have forgotten to turn it back down, and then we would be completely inaudible. Um, so tonight... I introduced this game that we're playing to Spiral as the game that uh, Frictional made before, before Amnesia. And uh, that's essentially what it is. Um, back in the 2000s, they made their own tech demo called Penumbra, and eventually this spawned an actual full-fledged horror game called Penumbra Overture. Uh, it actually still has a lot of Lovecraftian elements, but definitely not to the degree of Amnesia, where it's like, very obvious. This is more yeah, of like, like a. Over the head. I, I I don't know. Amnesia still doesn't beat you over the head with it as much as games like Sinking City or fucking Cth uh, Call of Cthulhu. Rummy, what's I mean, that's up? That's true. That's true. Hey, yo, Rummy. <laughs> it's because. Oh, I... so, hi, Sharky. Hi, Andrick. Hi, everyone. Yeah, we got a bunch of homies in. Yeah, mm -hmm. when, when when I played Amnesia, it never actually struck me as a Lovecraftian horror game until I thought about it in depth. I was like, wait, no, this is super Lovecraft. Mostly because oh, I I hadn't read a whole lot of Lovecraft until quite a ways after I had already started Amnesia. That was around 2012, I think. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a fantastic game, The Dark Descent. Um, Machine for Pigs, terrible. And I, I so you were there when fucking me and a good friend of ours was playing it, and we were just watching them play it. And we're like, this mm -hmm. sucks. It's yeah. like fucking bad erotic novel writing. It was so bad. <laughs> and then and then fucking Rebirth. I still haven't finished. It it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it it just doesn't top the Dark Descent, bro. You can't beat the king at its at his own game. Um but yeah, so this one is modernized. You you play as a, a Britishman who is currently stranded in a mine shaft in Greenland. So it'll be a cool little experience to for us to to get out there 
and really explore the beautiful, the beautiful foreign lands of Earth, like the frozen wastes of Greenland and the horrible fucking dilapidated mine shafts below full of insane people. <laughs> this Sounds is, like a good time. This is 2022 tourism, people. We can't be going to fucking Moulin Rouge or fucking Venice or none of that shit. <laughs> nope, we gotta go to deep, dark catacombs, horrible places with terrible creatures. That's what go, we're used to. Go ahead, step in the catacombs since you want to be a bonehead. Uh, I don't <laughs> want bones. I don't need bones. Have you seen Trim's streams recently? He's fucking... He's been recently doing, like, streams where he just has the fucking one hour of silence occasionally broken up by that noise on <laughs> loop during his streams. Just it's during just, his streams? It oh, just happens. Chat energy. It's so that's good. Giga chat energy. Trims is a major giga chat, and I can't wait to have him on again after how uh, fucking the last Soccer Tuesday went down with him around. All right, enough stalling. Let's get into the game. Yes, yes, I want to see. All right, hold up. Give me game, give me game. I, I know Discord seems to stop the uh, stream if I have it like minimized for too long. So blame Discord, not me, because it should already be going. Fucking um, Discord, fucking piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, so I blame Discord. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. The the thing that I like is that th there's supposed to be a main menu theme playing, uh, but it it ended. And instead of endlessly looping, it just fades into the sound of calming rainstorms. That's kind of cool, actually. It is really nice. It's better than just there being no sound at all. Stalker Shadow Chernobyl. But, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I did say when I last streamed with Tribs um, that this game uh, spooked me enough when I was, like, young that it scared me away from playing Minecraft for ages because I couldn't stand to go back into caves because of this game. Oh, wow. When did that happen? Like how Middle school, 10 years ago. Oh, I mean, it's, it still could be pretty scary as an adult. If it's middle school you, as long as it's not like you're talking like, oh, 10-year-old me was fucking horrified of this game. I mean, I, I beat this game while I was sitting in the field at my fucking correctional school in, like, broad daylight. <laughs> so, make of that what you will. I'm not saying oh. this game is going to be fucking Silent Hill levels, bro. It's not going to be the scariest game ever, but it's a cool little thing. And it's definitely not as horrible as Amnesia, because especially after having to deal with the closest thing that man will ever have to real psychological horror, customer service. I'm not looking to play Amnesia tonight. Yeah, right. that's fair. That's fair. And oh, that's I'm just here to observe and, and enjoy and just be my uh, foxy self. <laughs> ah, it's good. It's a good, it's a, it's a bop. What can I say? What it is a bop. Me when I recreate the fucking idiot party theme from Cruelty Squad in Penumbra's <laughs> menu. All right, we are not playing this on hard. So also, this is the only time you ever get to see what the protagonist looks like. He's one of these people, I think. I, I think that's supposed to be him because he's in the light, I guess. But you never see him ever, um, along with <laughs> along with Daniel of Amnesia. I need to show you the picture I drew of Daniel from Amnesia fucking walking around with his lantern looking like he's fucking had enough and there's a brute behind him. I drew it in high school and I was kind of impressed with how it came out since I almost like never did digital I art. I think I've actually seen that before. I feel I like you it. showed that to us at one point. I heavily doubt it. But I'm having serious deja vu about this. Yeah, but like deja vu happens to be on the reg. <laughs> God, I if they find out what causes deja vu, I'm gonna be so fucking noited. I mean, I think we already do know. <laughs> My story began in February of year two thousand. Is this is this voice acted? I can't remember. Doesn't seem like oh, it. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Ah, uh, this is super Lovecraftian. Oh yeah, <laughs> no question. If you if you didn't have a British accent, I'd be reading this like clearly averse to explanations. My father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair. <laughs> 
Fucking executor. I do like the concept art usage for the intro. Yeah, it's cool. Kind of reminds me of like 90s PC games. Yeah. Oh, this is Max Payne as fuck now that I think about it. The rain doesn't help. Me when there's rain in video games. Is this Max Payne? Even though, even though the rain was only in Max Payne 2, Max Payne 1 was the snow. I don't know why I said that. Oh, the main theme is really good. I gotta give it to him. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. What I need is to get fucking Gianni to to read this this game's intro with a Max Payne accent, but keep the music and the fucking sound effects the same. <laughs> Speaking of Lovecraft and fucking Boston accents, God, I really need to play uh, Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth on stream. I was actually thinking of doing it tonight, but That's it gets- That's the 2000s one, yeah? Yeah, but it gets very frustrating very quickly. But there are some really good moments, like when you fucking find somebody who I think is like, has hung herself in a fucking room through like a window. And I have I told you about what the character says when he sees it? Hmm. He he just it, it it's not like, oh my god, she's dead, or Jesus, what would cause a person to do this? He says, and I quote, <clears throat> Judging by the smell, this noose broad must have kicked it a few weeks back. You're like, what the what the <laughs> fuck? Who says that? <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fuck. Oh, Clara says she arrives with beef pasta and butterscotch pie. Ah, oh, nice. Oh. Coriel has struck again, I see. Oh, look, it's off brand Campbell's soup. Now, this screen, <laughs> this screen looks like a pre rendered scene in a fucking adventure game from the early 2000s or late 90s. Tell me it doesn't. I mean, it's like, yeah, that's pretty much what I was, the, like, the vibe that I was getting. I'm not gonna lie, like, you kind of hit the nail on the head here, because, like, as soon as you loaded in, I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, this is, uh, this is mist. I see. <laughs> yeah, it's so, it's so true. Let me see what the fucking soup I says, though. S Uncle Cthulhu's squid soup? <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> well, there you go. Speaking of Lovecraftian. Jesus, Uncle I've never Cthulhu seen that. Blue squid soup. I, Are you I, fucking kidding me? I never bothered to get close and read it. That's so on the fucking nose. What the fuck? That's so funny. Oh, and just no, it's not. It's not Jack Daniels. It's Jake Annuals. It's Jake Annuals. Jake Annuals. They literally oh. scribbled it out with a fucking like MS Paint pen. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, he's got another bottle of it. Oh, Philip, you drink bad. So yeah, for the for those who didn't see the intro, the the whole gist of it is this dude's parents are both dead. His the first time he ever met his dad was getting sent a letter saying, "Hey, go to where all my research is and fucking burn it." Instead, he found a location in Greenland and he's headed there now. Finally escaped the zone again. Oh, I escape the zone every day that isn't Monday. They let me go on fucking, you know, excursions sometimes, you know. Yeah. What, you think we just fucking make all the booze here? You think we just fucking have an infant supply of putinka in our fucking basement? No, I gotta head out and get that shit. Alright, I have a notebook. You gotta go to the putinka store. Jesus. Okay. Oh my god. Dearest Eric. <clears throat> oh, this is... I think this is someone who... This is a letter to the ship's captain, not from me, but from someone else. Fisherman... Did that say fisherman's wife's letter? Oh. Oh, no. I, I sure hope she didn't have any dreams recently. How did I know you were going to fucking reference that? Because we were talking about it last night? I mean, yeah. But Hold still. Up. Hold up, wait. Hey, 
That dude's a fucking legend. He's the guy who made the Great Wave off Kanagawa carving as well. Oh. He likes two things. Oceans and women getting uh, pleasured by octopi. Yeah. Honestly, a man of the people. He has the same he has the same wishes we all do. <laughs> oh, who is this? Who is this? Dogs! Who? Dogs? This is a dog game. Dogs and developer uh, photo. Cool shit. This is a dog game. This is a dog game. No, no, you, I'm not even joking. This is a dog game. This Pretty odorous. Oh. Wow. He, this character does not have a lot of... As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utter... Jesus, that's oppressive. How utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. Yada, yada, yada. I don't give a shit. Oh, it's in a blizzard because it's in Greenland. Awesome. I love, by the way, the fact that the Vikings discovered Greenland and Iceland and tried to name them the opposite to try to trick people to try to trick settlers to going to the wrong place. That's so funny. Yeah, they're like, oh, we don't want people knowing that this fucking little like place is a super fertile place with tons of geothermic shit. We're going to call it Iceland and we're going to name the horrible barren shithole. Gr oh. 2007. Moving on. So yeah, this is uh, this is the first iteration of the systems we would see being used in Amnesia, and honestly, a lot of modern horror. The exact same shit. Uh -huh. The exact same! Wow! Oh wait. Okay, come on. Oh, it's so cold! Oh shit, I need to add a game to my list. Fucking, uh, if you want to see the coldest game ever, there's a, 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 like, a horror game that takes place in, like, the fucking Siberian wastes aboard a stranded nuclear icebreaker called Cryostasis. And it's the most frigid-looking game I've ever seen. So the ladder broke and we just busted our legs. Does that include yep. the dog shit handling? Yes, it does. Sure does, because why, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? So, also, the main, the main character is saying Jesus as well as an exclamation. Jesus! <laughs> Could be anything inside it. Boxes of ammunition. So, obviously, the uh, same composer is here. Um, yeah. The fun thing is the flashlight seems cool, but the flashlight needs to be reloaded. The glow stick doesn't. We're keeping what? the glow stick. What the fuck? Rummy says okay. Iceland was named out of spite by the guy who discovered it, and Eric the Red just named Greenland to get people to come there so he could rule over them. Oh my god. Oh, that's even funnier. That's actually better, yeah. That's honestly even funnier. Fuck's sake. Oh, flares. This soundtrack is oppressive. Come to my icy hovel and be my servant. Wait! Is that the have a nice cup of shut the fuck up guy? Yeah. Oh my it's god. It's from the actual propaganda ad, it looks like. Something with be beef or something with beans and potatoes. Oh my god. How many Military fucking- rations. Oh my god, these memes. Oh, the hammer! Yes! You have a melee weapon now. There's also quick Huzzah. slots, which I Amnesia doesn't have. And I appreciate this game has it. Honestly, I think it's a good choice. And you can actually interact with stuff if you have both hands busy, which is good. Wait. Hold on, what's that noise? Oh, it's just the barrel, okay. It's the barrel. I should turn this game's actually, You Not should continue. turn this game's volume all the way up so that I can get really spooked and immersed, too. The game's, audi the game's audio can't be changed. I can't change its sound levels for some reason. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, well, still, sounds good. <laughs> the guy who discovered Iceland got hit hard with a winter and told everyone it's Iceland and it's stuck. <laughs> this is an icy land. And they're like, yeah, I mean, you're right. And then they get done and like for the next hundred years, it's not. And they're just like, why the fuck would we call it that again? Eh, I don't know. So here's the system that Dead Island actually adopted too. So you hold down the left mouse button to ready it. 
and then drag uh -huh. your mouse in any direction to actually hit with it. Yeah, it's like Morrowind. Oh, Morrowind has a system? Okay, never yeah, mind, they just, did it first. It's just Morrowind combat. Yeah. This game has Morrowind combat? That's fucking cool. This game what does have- oh. This game does have Morrowind combat. Cool. That's fun. That's foreboding as fuck, I don't want to go there. More games like this need to be made. Frictional should go back to shit like this. Yeah, they should. I'm really disappointed, actually. Like, I, did I just go in a complete circle? As much as I, I as much as I love the fact that like, I don't know. I used to be like, oh man, you know, we don't we don't need combat in horror games. Horror games suck with combat in them. And then I played Silent Hill too, and I'm like, never mind, never mind. Horror games could be really good with fucking combat in them. Um, but as, as the more I've grown, the more I realize that taking combat out of your horror. This is not going to be a fun night. This is not going to be a fun night. Um, as as I, I I've grown to realize that fucking combat in horror games can be really fun. It really can be. In fact, sometimes it really makes it. Just look at fucking Lost in Vivo and Cry of Fear. You can defend yourself in Cry of Fear. All you have to do is actually have good monster designs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clara says to quote Yahtzee, swing things around like you have two broken elbows. God, I wish that wasn't accurate. So yeah, I, I every time I used to play Minecraft back in the day, it was when I had like a uh, industrial craft and shit. I fucking used to imagine the uh, like monster is near music from this game playing anytime I was in a cave and I just couldn't do it. I just, I had to stop playing. I couldn't enjoy Minecraft for a while. You you expect me to read all this, man? Jesus. Fucking giving Yeek a run for the money. Alright. So, your character also has night vision, which happens. You can defend yourself in alone in, in the dark. Yeah, the literal, the literal creation of the genre. I, I saw someone on a video recently saying that, like, it's horror games shouldn't have self-defense or any weapons in them. And I'm like, tell us all that you haven't played a horror game after 2010 without saying it outright. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. He says, but watch. I don't think there's actually anything down here either. I, I actually, one of my first Let's Plays on YouTube was me playing this game with a friend. It, it was very bad. There was, like, no discussion whatsoever, and I kept nudging him and telling him to say something. Oh my god! It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From humble fucking beginnings. From humble beginnings. Oh god. my goodness. That's gotta be, yeah, like... Okay. My first fucking Let's Play was taken on my first smartphone that was propped up against a lamp in my basement while I was recording the TV I was on. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. That was that was really really rough. That's a rough cut. Wait. S stage fright much? Yeah, essentially. Fucking Yeah, that must have been like 12 years ago. I remember playing Halo Reach with them around that time as well. It was uh it was a hell of a time. And then I started doing my own. I, I got my break on YouTube doing fucking... Ad. It, it, it was this game. It was like a, a flash game tactical rail shooter called Sierra 117 or some shit. There was... I, I, I used to do amnesia mods. I, 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 had a, I used to have a video back in the day that was me playing uh, fucking Amnesia the Dark Room, which is that custom story that adds meme characters in it, like the fucking troll face and Neon Cat and shit. <laughs> It was it was ridiculous, terrible video editing, you name it, classic early t like 2010s YouTube kind of shit. I I remember being followed by somebody called the Derping Troller, who who seemed to enjoy my content. I hope, I hope he's doing well in these times. Bills to dull the pain. Troller. What a, what a fucking name that is. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, it was like 2012. God. See, see, we start off with rain in the intro, a fucking sad piano theme, a monologue, and you're having me pick up painkillers. Like, mm -hmm. I can't even do anything with this because it's so fucking telegraphed, bruh. Abysmal. It's abysmal. It's 
It's a fucking horrifying turn of events. Ooh, Copenhagen Post. Oh, listen to this missed fucking music. I love it. Hold up. <clears throat> Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering oh chemicals naturally sown into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at Greenland Mind. I'm not- I'm not doing this. Okay. <laughs> the university, which is recently- <laughs> Alright. So apparently people who work in the mine shafts here in Greenland are either killing themselves or going fucking insane. And they're chalking it up to the possibility of there being some kind of hallucinogenic substance that has been that has soaked into the bedrock. And yeah, um, they're literally saying that there's acid in the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying. But few locals were conducive to interview, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits known as the Tungit live in the mountains. I think that's the correct way to pronounce it. They used to pronounce it wrong for years. The university is awaiting the results of chemical testing. This sounds like bullshit. The, the lead mine. Oh, yeah. No, no. It was it was the it was totally hallucinogenics that were making us go crazy working in the <laughs> lead mine. The you lead fucking mine. Fucking idiots. Oh man. What's next? Man, somebody somebody's poisoning me. I go to work every day at the mercury <laughs> factory and one of my coworkers is fucking is giving me acid. That's what's oh, happening. Man. Oh man, I'm so annoyed at my fucking job. I keep getting radiation sickness, and I don't know why. It's just... man, it's it's hard. You get tired, you know, working in a radon room 24 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, dude. Fucking, I've been drinking fucking radium water every day of my life, and I was totally fine. And some night, sometime last night, my fucking roommate came in and cut my lower jaw off. What an asshole! <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> An actual man died. An actual man died, and we're laughing. <clears throat> Another unremarkable week in Greenland. I have ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on into increased snowfall. One wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The German. Oh, this is during World War II, like the fucking end of World War II. Um, people were. St what is this fucking Rook Island? I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom. Thank you. Oh. Dynamite for excavation purposes. One pair of reading glasses. All right, so there's a demolitions manual in a storeroom somewhere. Oh! An old man clutching something unseen. He's strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know this man before me is Howard. Oh. What the fuck? Okay, then. If I remember correctly, devices like these are essentially how you save. It's an old artifact. You don't know where it's from. The it's Western an old artifact. Claris, uh, coming through with the World War II knowledge, saying the Western Front closed in 44. So... <clears throat> I imagine these people down here most likely didn't know that that had happened. Well... Maybe not. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. Jesus. Oh, this is how oh you save. God. Oh my wait. god. Wait, no. Oh! Even further than the war. Germany, 1923. Is that the Age of Empires logo? Hold up. Wait. No, it says the... Wait. There's no way. No, it's not. But that would have been I was cool. Say, what, are you, what are you talking about? It says the the Empire typewriter. <laughs> this this it's own it's its own thing. Some of the things they made are original, probably, maybe. I I I stand by that. This has to be a reference to something. I'll conduct research later. Yeah, you yeah. Say? You <laughs> conduct you you conduct your research. Sounds like you're in the inside of a cave in oblivion. Yeah, right. Okay, I, I lied when I said this game wasn't that scary. I'm kinda get a little I'm kinda get a little bit spooked, yo. Yeah? Yeah, I'm kinda so get a little I'm bit I'm not spooked. really scared, but I'm more intrigued. Well that's because you're not as easily scared as I am.
Come on, open up. Open up! Open up! Huh. You have okay. a hammer. You should be able to break a door down. You can get better weaponry, too. You could actually get yourself a fucking katana if you completed the game once. <laughs> a katana, and you can just run around cutting up the enemies. God, I wish, but I made that up. Oh. I was gonna say, that would be kinda stupid, I'm not gonna lie. Lots of useless junk, at best it's a decent hiding spot. Did I just do at a best? fucking full... I just did a full fucking 180. At best I it's a, total a decent circle. hiding spot. At best. I did a complete circle. Hold up. Workshop. There's another room I need to go to. You sure had us going with that lie. Look, it's the 2000s, bro. I could have gotten somebody. <laughs> I was so fooled. I was so very fooled. You have no idea. Wait, no, I didn't go in circles. These these entrances both just look exactly the same. Yeah. I think that's kind of the point, is that this place is very maze-like. That's why you gotta follow the signs. I don't like the sound design one bit. It doesn't help I this do. game's very it's loud. Awesome. I gotta turn it down. No! Turn it up! I wanna hear it. I wanna be scared with you. Well, you're not gonna hear me turning it down. Does, does, does the actual, like, volume you get come from my system volume? Mm. Like, is it actually quieter because I'm doing this? Not that I've noticed, so oh, wait. however you have it set up is uh, not doing that yet. How's it sound now? Is it, is it louder at all? Do some stuff? I turned it all the way up. The, the system oh. volume. Oh, yeah, it sounds a little louder. Huh. I'll chalk that up to it being illusory. I was gonna say, it doesn't really sound like it's like a perception that I'm actually noticing. It could just be like a, a sort of audio placebo. <laughs> Indeed. Audio placebo is a good fucking break core uh, alias to go by. Okay, cool. we've got uh, insane's exhaust equals sick. Hmm. Wait. You sure you want to open that? There's a person in there. There's, there's a human being in there. There's more scrawled on the shelves. Oh, I see. I remember. God. He's, he's right in there. Pills to dull the pain. And batteries. Yeah, I think that's how you save. Oh. What? Was there like a, a lore bit that we missed? Not really. Mm. Oh. There we go. Oh, I hate that. What? The whispers? Just the way they've done the, the oh. audio mixing is really good. I don't like spiders. I I don't like spiders. Well, unfortunately, I need to go this way because there's a ladder that I need. No. Don't make noises. Thought you're about as jumpy as I am. I am incredibly jumpy. I am a terrified motherfucker. I don't know when it happened. No. I've always been scared to the point where accidentally catching a fucking like like spooky trailer on Nick at night. Would have me unable to sleep. Jesus. I feel like I should be able to get a fucking uh, frostbite spider egg after inspecting this corpse. Luckily it's mummified or the smell would be awful. Oh my god. What a what an optimistic man. Oh, it's a busted <laughs> pipe. The steam can blister flesh from bone an instant. How have you seen it happen? Where do you even work, Phil? Come on, Phil. Dry, dusty old bags. 
Day 1. I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken might one day be of scientific value, despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure, until what help there may be arrives, and to that end I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here, and now 30 years on, fate has struck again. Day 3. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I could only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location, and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out and search them. What are you doing here? Get topside! I hear troops are coming to rescue us! Day s oh, that's a lot. Day 6, my first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of the rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third was to act on both those assumptions and going outside my safe haven. My best estimate is I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid, and I found only danger. Um... Soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. I attempted to make my way home, found myself threatened by some species of feral creature. The specimen bore significant interest to me. I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outmanu outnumbered by the beasts. My lesson learned, I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Moose! Moose! Hello! Moose. Welcome! Hello, Moose! Every hello, hello! Welcome the fuck on in. Hi. How are you doing today, Moose? Welcome! We're getting spooky tonight. Hey, yo. We're getting fucked up. <laughs> I, was, I was slouching. It's all right. I'd be slouching too a little bit. Oh. Okay. This game's really cool. I like how atmospheric it is. It is very atmospheric. This is you can really tell where a lot of like the stuff they decided this, this a lot of stuff they decided to keep in amnesia came about. God, I'm starting to pick up Irish accents for my fucking coworkers. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't actually do it. Or if you're doing it, do it in jest. What the hell was that? <laughs> I'm good. Hell yeah, spookies. By the way, the everybody, hmm. go follow uh, Moose Sweaters on Twitter. He's an amazing artist. Love him. 10 out of 10. Good shit. <clears throat> okay, so the ladder is just so I can get back up because there's clearly something I need to do down here. No, shh. Oh, shush. Don't be so modest. Too Here late. It's done. Oh, oh. It is complete. if you take out the hammer while climbing, you lose your footing and start to fall because you can't. Because you're like, Whoa. that's kind of cool. Wait, break it down. I break realized I realize now that I appear to be the monster in this instant. Bring it down! Keep okay. hitting it! What am I supposed to do about the steam pipes down there? I don't know. Keep hitting them. Hit things okay. with hammer. This tells you to go down there, and this tells you that the steam is bad. This... tells you to mix lighter fluid with, fu with fuel to make fire happy, and bugs are also bad. Thanks. I learned that the last time me and Cell attempted <laughs> to go fucking rock and stone in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fuck. Okay. Alright, fine. I guess you don't want to come out, bitch. The only reason I can play this game now is because I know it pretty well. And I know for a fact that there's no segment where he comes running out of there and a really loud scream sound effect plays like in Cry of Fear. <laughs> <laughs> However, oh. something oh. else just screamed. Oh, no. We need to hide. Fuck that. That's a stock sound effect. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, oh, you running, bitch? Oh, you running? Whoa. Hit it again. No, the combat music is over. Well, you're also really hurt. I can I can't feel my arms and legs anymore. Okay, so yeah, the combat can be done 
but also, yeah, that dog can take a hit, especially for the state that it's in. This dog looks disgusting. Honestly, a pretty good looking dog for this era. Actually, when did this game come out? 2006, 2007? So there's evidently something that I'm missing from this uh, thing here. He doesn't even have feet. He has stumps. Yeah. Oh, I picked up the key that would have allowed me to enter that area. Hold up. Oh, the uh, box, the lockbox inside of the office. I can open that now. Amnesia soundtrack still reigns supreme over this. Are you up on mm -hmm. your 40k? Nah, I don't really be doing no 40k. I haven't played it since like fucking 2014. I'm gonna be real with you. Big Huzzah! book of explosives! Big book of explosives! Let's oh, man. go! I'm on a watch list the... now, motherfuckers. He found the Anarchist Cookbook. I did. 1923 edition. Did you know that in um, a fucking uh, Mexican post-apocalyptic survival uh, um, immersive sim RPG called Brigand Oaxaca, the actual like recipe book for making explosives with a certain skill is the Anarchist Cookbook. That's really <laughs> funny. Yeah, I kind of want to see you play Brigand Oaxaca on stream. I want to play Brigand Oaxaca too. It's too bad the game wouldn't doesn't want me to play it because that would be fucking painful, bruh. <laughs> Black match fuse. <laughs> like, like I I saw fucking Snaker attempt his best at that shit. That game is brutal. Brigand Oaxaca is is the most slob jank a game can be if it's not made by slobs. Had, had I not known better, I would assume that it was, but it is in fact made by an American dude who, who like, works as an English teacher at a college and smokes weed a lot. <clears throat> Alfred Nobel? That explains why it is the way it is. They named the Peace Prize after the inventor of dynamite? Yes! Did you not know that? No! I was expecting you to be fucking bullshitting me, and it's actually, like, just another guy with the same name. That's insane. No. Same guy. <clears throat> Proof far safer to handle than alternatives such as pure nitroglycerin. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's so funny that the more destructive and actually powerful an explosive is, the safer it is to handle. To the point where the most devastating fucking explosive in mankind's development is one that is almost impossible to actually set off unless you have an extremely, like, complicated set of codes and systems set up like ha having a nuclear bomb means nothing you need to have something that can launch and activate it so like fucking dirty <laughs> bombs are a thing speaking of dirty bombs you know what we should watch you ever heard of the movie right at your door uh no what is that it's a like thriller movie about like a couple that lives in los angeles and uh when the fucking uh wife goes out to work a terrorist attack happens downtown that launches, oh, like, fucking, like, biochemical agents and dirty bombs and shit. So mm -hmm. she comes back home, and the fucking cloud of, like, contaminants and shit is spreading all over the city, and the husband is advised to fucking, like, literally, like, tape up the entire house to keep it safe, and she is not allowed inside. And it's, like, this kind of, like, sort of, like, time is running out kind of thing, or it's, like, is she actually gonna make it? And then, like, some fucked up shit happens, but it's kind of, like, an interesting little, like, like terrorism at home kind of story that is interesting don't watch the trailer it spoils everything but i'd be interested in watching because <laughs> i think it's a cool little movie that nobody really talks about it, it definitely didn't make anybody's best of the year lists or anything but it's a cool little movie <laughs> it's, it, it had a the fucking cover art grabbed me for the fucking box of it because it's someone wearing a fucking like gas mask and like hazard suit and in the reflection of the goggles you see the hollywood sign and there's, like, toxic fallout falling. It's so cool. <laughs> TNT was discovered in 1863 by German chemist Joseph Wilbrin, but it took some years mm -hmm. before it yielded its true potential. This is, I'm, I'm getting kind of worried by the fact that you are, like, audibly verifying the information I'm reading. Also, thank you for I... the host, Sock. <laughs> <laughs> I used to read up on the history of, like, the arms race and, and like, the origins of gunpowder and... and firearms and stuff like that it's always been interesting to me that's actually cool as fuck and then there was mm -hmm. me sitting around with books about the ebola virus and smallpox thanks richard preston for making me a paranoid hypochondriac 
Me, when I wear a gas mask and the toppling fire blazed ruins of Hollywood reflect in my goggles. God, that's cool. Okay, what's actually the point of this? Armstrong's mixture. Red phosphorus and barium. I remember red phosphorus. Fucking Walter White and Jesse Pinkman killed somebody with that shit. <clears throat> There's something I'm missing in this book here. Backstrand, string, and black gunpowder. A passage we need to get to is blocked off by stone, but we can destroy it if we make our own explosives. The tools we need are not here. There's a piece of this puzzle that we're missing. Yep. Thank you for the host too, Moose. Clara says also, Trinitro... Trinitro... To, 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 I'm not... I'm sorry. With me... Uh, Trinitro Toluene. Thank you, Trinitro Toluene. That's the thing, right? Is mm -hmm. reading it, impossible to figure out how to pronounce it. Like, I'm sorry to everyone who I've told, like, I am i can't pronounce your name when I, like, talk to them. And it's a new name of, like, a foreign language. Here's the thing. I need to <laughs> hear it audibly. As soon as I hear it, it clicks. And I'm like, there we go. I know how to say it. Oh. I went, I went in the thing again. See, this is another thing, is I expected, this This is a fairly short game, but most of it is just because it's got, like, the mist thing where you're like, what do I, what do I do? Um, and this puzzle, TNT. watch me explode, my... or whatever, I forgot the lyrics. That's, that's correct, that's part of it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it is TNT. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I can't hear an ACDC song without being reminded of that Tumblr post where it's like... Every, every fucking... Every ACDC song... I'm stuck! I'm trapped! I need to get out! It's stuck! I'm trapped! I need to get out! Ah! Oh, this is where I came from. But I, I can't, I can't hear a fucking... Tea time? Oh my god, okay, hold on a second. Uh, I actually didn't even fill up my tea kettle tonight. Can you give me a second to actually go fill up the tea kettle? <laughs> I mean, we're about an hour in. Give me a second. Let me find the, the spooky spot. I was trying to say, though, I can't think of a fucking um, ACDC song without being reminded of that Tumblr post where it's like, every ACDC song is just, Yo! I'm the man who rocks! This shit sucks! <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's JK. basically every dad rock <laughs> song ever is like... Either talking about how cool they are or talking about how much they fuck. I mean, yeah, just look at fucking Motorhead. Or Kiss. I mean, here's the thing. I use the phrase dad rock sometimes, but I've marginally stopped using it more ever since Parkway Drive came out with their album Ire and Reverence. And all of the, like, 2000 skinny jeans and checkerboard Vans kids are like, what the fuck is this dad rock shit? And I'm like, bitch. Have you never listened to any type of melodic death metal? Have you never heard power metal? Have you not heard, like... Like, th this album is a fucking... Th this music is a massive love letter to, like, classic forms of metal before people discovered fucking open notes and drop A tuning. Fuck mm -hmm. off. Oh, wait, yeah, no. The... I don't I don't have to puzzle anything. I just have to time where I go. There's a difference oh. between... Ooh. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> there's a difference between, like, evoking a certain style and then just, like, straight up copying it. Because you can be about power metal without being, talking about how much you fuck or how cool you are. You can do cooler things, like have a concept album or something. To be fair, Reverence is a, is a concept album. Well, it's well, sort of a go. concept album. It's, 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 it's loosely about it. Some songs, like, uh, the, the music gets all over the place. Um... But it's it's mainly about like loss because the entire first song is one of my favorite songs in any genre of music, if, like in any heavy music genre ever, because it's literally called Wishing Wells, and it starts off with a poem where he's essentially like the whole album is is uh, the vocalists and most of the band members coping with losing different people, and the main whole idea of Wishing Wells is I'm calling God down here because I want to beat the shit out of him and he won't show his face because he's a fucking coward. Literally, the chorus is tonight I'm killing gods. It's if y'all ever want to hear the angriest fucking song ever made in my or not 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 ever made, that's a hell of a fucking pedigree. But one of the angriest songs ever with one of the most amazing melodies, go listen to Wishing Wells by Parkway Drive. That shit's amazing. 
I spoke a vow today and asked if God would come and play. I've dug a shallow hole for him to sleep. It's so good. And then, like, the last song in the album is, like, this little, like, fucking... You know, like, really sad little, like, ballad and shit with an acoustic guitar. And it just ends with him, like, saying, like... I don't know, like, the most poignant shit you can say after, like, someone you love dies. Which is fucking... It's like, um... Uh, hold up. Let me look up the lyrics real quick. Um, the color of leaving lyrics. This will be real quick. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, we asked the biggest question. Why the fuck did this all happen? Who on earth deserves this and what do we do now? It's so good. That's just me gushing about one of my favorite albums again. Okay, yeah, I can't go here. Sasha, when it's been one stream since she last, she's gushed for fucking ten minutes about her favorite albums. Romy says power metal can be about dragons, goblins, and shit like that. Oh yeah, when I say power metal, it's because a lot of riffs on Reverence just sound like Blind Guardian. Uh, the song I Hope You Rot, which is literally just the biggest call-out against the fucking Catholic Church. Like, when it says fucking, um, I've, uh... I haven't seen through the eyes of your lord, but I have seen through the eyes of a child. And it's like, fuck, dude. That's, oh, fuck. That's brutal. That's fucking... Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's one of those yeah. songs and shit. That's pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say. And, like, the, the whole chorus evokes the, in, like, the imagery of, like, angels fucking falling. And it says, I see their wings are broken, there are no halos to be found. And and the fucking like like the like the lead melody that plays during the chorus is so Blind Guardian it's ridiculous. Yeah, we got some love for Blind Guardian up in here. Good shit, Rummy. Hmm. Okay, what am I missing here? We've got Backstrand, but we don't have the other shit we need. Wait. Yeah. Like everybody's got their genre of metal they like. Like I, I'm I'm a big I'm a big thrash metal fan. Um, mainly. Mm. But like you know, there's there's something for everybody. That's what's fun about the genre. Yeah. Okay. So I can't break that. Is there just something I'm missing? I should probably go look at the map. The Catholic Church is a fucking mistake. Yep. We I you will get no disagreement <laughs> from me on that. Yeah. 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 One one giant mistake. Yep. When the judgment I I... came. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I was going to say the sad part is that a lot of early Christians would probably agree with you. Mm-hmm. Yep. When the judgment came, they told us turn away as their laughter whipped the halls like cracking bones. What a good fucking line. Those are nails. Maybe, a nail bomb. maybe I should be able to get there. From underneath. No? You'd think I would, wouldn't you? I will admit, I am a little bit stumped. I'm a little bit stumped here. Because I can't- I can't exit through the door where the guy is fucking, like, ranting and shit in there. Wait! No! The dog came through a door. The, the dog entered in here through the door that I couldn't previously access, I think. I think that's what I'm meant to take away from it. Rummy says, did you know Blind Guardian started out called Lucifer's Heritage? Where did the dog come from? What the dog doing? Do I not have the key for it? Workshop. Let's see, to-do list. There's a locked door with odd noises coming from behind it in storage. I found a locked door in the middle of the mine. The entrance to the cave is caved in. There must be another way out. <clears throat> I'm gonna quote... I'm what gonna quote fucking... <laughs> God damn it, Moose. I'm gonna quote fucking what's his name, Pat Boyven, when he played this game, <laughs> saying, "No, some there doesn't have to be a way out. Sometimes the fucking cave caved in and you're dead. <laughs> Sometimes rocks fall and you die. It just happens. Deal with yeah, it. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. It's it's not mm -hmm. it's not even your fault. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Jesus. I I might have to look up a fucking guide real quick. I, yeah, if, you seem a little lost. I'm a little bit lost. You know what? Let me actually stop being a dumbass and look at the map. Amnesia hey, never did this to me. This place is just a big old maze. 
you think these get cryptic wait till wait till i fucking play penumbra black plague and there's a section where you literally have to move files between computers using floppy disks in pitch uh. darkness while a fucking insane person is banging on a door and raving at you from behind it uh. it's it's fucked up penumbra black plague is a really good game hmm. oh sky key welcome on in sky, sky key. key hello how you doing good to see you Fun yeah. fact, the Catholic Church historically had a long-standing tradition of being okay with formal petitions. Hi there. Would you like to sign my petition? I'm sorry. Come on. I, I had to. I had to. Sad that video games can't have bad endings very often. That's true. Mm -hmm. I wish they did more often because it's more interesting. Yeah. Horror movies don't always have to what? end well. What? What? What happened? You got... You got bodied by the barrel. The barrel's an enemy. I got prop killed. It. Smack him with a hammer. Oh, okay. Show okay. who's boss. Viral. Kill it. Viral. What? Don't talk about barrels being enemies while we're playing a frictional game. You know who that's going to summon. <laughs> you know who that's going to summon. I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want N-words in my chat, Spiral. I can't... Th there can't be nothing else to do down here but grab the ladder and then come back up. Yeah, no no gamer words here. Hello there, I've been listening for a while uh, to your beautiful voices lurking. Well, thank you, uh, Skykey. It's good to see you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's nice to see you. Martin You've been Luth doing well. Clara said Martin Luther asked questions that they, that they didn't want answered. Ah, yep, there you go. And then and then the Protestant um, movement happened, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Uh-huh. Yeah. Is it just me, or does this look like you should be able to go through here? It looks like I should be able to go through here. What does Backstrom actually do? Probably not anything good if you put it in the steam. There's got to be a way to turn that steam off so you can proceed. That's the only way you can't proceed that, <clears throat> like, doesn't lead to a dead end. I presume... I presume it's probably in the room with the guy who's fucking scratching himself. Yeah, here we go. Um... Okay. Um... <clears throat> It, I'm, I'm actually looking at a, a guide real quick. Okay. Okay, it appears there's something I've missed here. It sure seems that way. Because that's the only thing I can think of. If I if I tap the shift key, it does this while I'm crouched. Do it again. I'm doing it right now. Are you doing it right now? Yeah. It's so strange. Right. Hold up. Okay. <clears throat> it says. Oh wait. No, I am just supposed to walk past the steam. But doing it always fucking hurts me, so like, what? Let me try it again. Oh, you just gotta be really fast. Okay, I did it. Here we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. My earlier assumptions of the benign nature of my cellmates... Oh my god, day 71. He's been down here for 70 days. Uh, may have been made an error. After a careful autopsy, I'm concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. The evidence against such a move is insurmountable. I have no source of light. I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard people. The spiders... Hold on a second. One of these isn't like the other. <laughs> I just read that. What... What? Oh my god, that's so funny. Well, one of these isn't like the other. Well, the thing about it is... 
the thing about it is what <laughs> what are you about like, to tell me that spiders still... are really tasty spiral no no it's it's just that like up till this point in the game you haven't really had a lot happen to you that's like super out of the ordinary like that dog was like fucked up but it could have just been like emaciated and mm -hmm. like just mangy or something and okay. like this guy but a dead guy... dog that's been like completely mummified by spiders <clears throat> Well, I mean, there's a lot of spiders down here. What spider desiccates a dog corpse? A one that's hungry and doesn't have anything else to eat? Somebody else is clearly hungry here. <clears throat> Day 100, from the marks I've been marking on the walls, uh, and my scribbled uh, diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an illegible scrawl. Today's the 100th, but, but Philip can read it just fine, by the way. Today is the 100th day of my new life. <laughs> Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive. Oh. And have swelled in number in size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. So there's implication. This guy ate so many spiders, they evolved to not be eaten by him. <laughs> Over a period of less than 100 days. Okay. That's fucking... <laughs> ah, Greenland's wild. Over the past... Oh my god. Whether or not this is a result, I'm not I'm sure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails, and I am never... Okay, so so here's your pro strat, people. Are, do you have a bad sp a house... Pr like a house spider problem? Rocco, Rocco, if you have a fucking house centipede problem, just eat them. Eat them in such <laughs> horrifying volumes that they evolve to be too big to be eaten, and then they don't get into the cracks of your house anymore. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If all fails yeah. and I'm never recovered, I hope at least that my study of, and indeed involvement with, these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there more through fluke than talent, and it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. <laughs> I can't take- Does it apply to annoying cousins too? Skykey. Do you have something to tell us? Do you have we'll something say, to tell us? We'll say, sure? Sure? Perhaps? Perhaps. I don't know if I feel comfortable with you and my server anymore. <laughs> I only pray oh that the goodness. second rule deems my breakthrough too soon, too insignificant. For all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. That's a, you know what? This this feels like it could be a good little self-contained short story of a guy going crazy and he he's only he's only able to live like to stay alive through eating the spiders. And they end up evolving to be like big enough to fight back and they kill him. That would be a cool little short story. <clears throat> oh, the Lord Vessel is here, I see. Eggshells. Fucking. Did I ever tell you about the. T oh, fuck. Thank you for the host drift. Oh. <laughs> I think I just have to fucking tank that. Um, I was gonna say, did I ever tell you about the time I was like talking about short stories with Albert? And then he told me about, like, he gave me the loose plot synopsis of a short story he was reading, and I'm like, that sounds like a Ray Bradbury short story. Not, not like, one that I've <laughs> read, but it sounds like something that he would write. And then we looked up the title of it, and I'm like, oh my god, I was right. It's actually fucking Ray Bradbury. I love Ray Bradbury, by the way. Like, I can't remember what the title of it was, but there was a short story by him about, like, a civilization that entirely lives on, I think one of Saturn's moons or something, but the thing is that it rains for years and years and years, and there's only one day every, every like, so many years where the sun comes out. And this one girl in an elementary school on this planet gets locked in the closet by a bunch of shitty kids during the only time the sun comes out. Oh, God. And she doesn't get to see it. <laughs> That's fucked. Fluid lighter gas. Y you mean there you go. lighter fluid? Fluid lighter gas. Yeah, that's what they call it. Ronsonol. That's my fucking superhero name. Fluid lighter gas. <laughs> I piss gas on you. <laughs> Jesus. 
I look away. <laughs> How do the journal entries go after day 100? Um, uh, he stopped oh at 100. God. Stopped. Well, yeah, because the spiders are too tasty, you know? God. Guy's gobbling them up, and he's like, Mmm, so tasty. Boom, 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 boom. What the fuck? That's from Monster Hunter. Drift says, lurking while raiding. Enjoy your stream and host, homie. Thank you so much, Drift. Mm. Here, uh, I'm going to give a fat shout-out to Drift. Um, unless, uh, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I'm sorry, Christ. I could have asked just, that. You can just ask me to do it, you fucking ass. I could have asked that in, like, a less <laughs> weird way. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, fucker. Oh, 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 uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait. I heard bang something on the, getting... Bang on the roof. Oh, yeah, hold Hit on, him. hold up. You good? Hit him in the face. You good in there? Get up there, buddy. Hey, yo. <laughs> Oi. Come out of there. Come on. Oh, my God. That was my oh, best no. chance to get some answers. That's that's what you think? Somebody could be dead, and the the, the, the only thing you could think of is, ah, oh, man, it's just when I was going to get some answers. Fuck you. Philip, you're a dickhead. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Wait. Wait, hold up. Give me a second. Is this the room from the fucking... Okay, no, it's not. I was about to be like, is this the room from the thumbnail with the doggo? All right, we got a key. More insane ramblings of spiders getting bigger. What? What was that? Day 200. It has been some time since I recorded any findings in relation to the spiders with whom I have shared my existence for the past eight months, partly due to my enforced retreat from their basement territory. Not too long ago, their behavior became overtly aggressive, and so I've attempted to barricade the main entrance to their lair, and secured myself within one of the smaller rooms above it, the only one with an operational door lock. The other reasons I've been recovering from a minor operation was I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of anesthetic. Even if I did have any anesthetic or surgical tools, I couldn't afford to be less than diligent to my work, so anesthetic was out. Surgical tools are all well and good, but although it may be becoming old and rusty, I still trust my pet. Oh, this motherfucker got tetanus. This dude got tetanus. The procedure itself was all a simple amputation of a non-vital organ? A thick glue-like subst- Oh. Oh. This dude ate so many spiders oh. he lost his tongue. 300? Another century of days comes and goes. It seems like so long since I escaped here. At some stage since my last entry, I attempted to return from whence I came. That from which I originally was fleeing seems a fate far worse than the one I now face. However, in the time since I arrived from the larger mine system, a cave-in has occurred, blocking any further progress. I was forced to return and accept whatever life has in store for me here. I still hear my aggressive little friends scratching on the door to my cell. Spider Fuck. hater! Spider haters note. Oh my god. Hater of spiders. Well, they're not that bad. Meanwhile, they're that bad. <laughs> Me. Spider's strongest lover. Five-year-old spider hater. We're gonna kill you. There's his tongue. Uh, why is his tongue so long? Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, you can squish it! Oh, you can squish it! Ow! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. The largest spider I've ever seen. It's gut carved open. God. Oh. Beef jerky. How was there still food left? This guy's an idiot. This guy is an idiot. The hole isn't large enough for a man. Look at the size of that thing. 
Yeah. What the fuck is up with... Oh, it makes green slime. He, he makes Nickelodeon slime when I hit him. Slime time live! Let's go! So what's the purpose of the lighter now? Because I got the lighter fluid. Wait. Yeah! I wonder if the lighter ever goes out. What we'll poured out that tunnel? We'll never know. I think we know. Well, I'd like to hear your hypothesis then. Do you think it was the spiders? I don't think it was the spiders. Oh. The squeaky floorboards. They actually made different sound effects for the floorboards squeaking if you're sprinting. That's cool. Remy says, I'm listening to death and I found out there's a scream bloody gore bobblehead. For a second, I thought you were going to say there was a fucking scream bloody gore Funko Pop and I was about to be very upset. <laughs> bobblehead is much cooler. Well, Hooray, you can light the thing. Now you have a light source. God, this is so 2000s. Look at this. Uh -huh. If I didn't I know it. any better, I'd think this is from Fear. I love it. It's awesome. Wouldn't it be cool if it turned out that, like, this engine was just, like, a physics-focused version of, like, like modification of the, um, the Lithtech engine? Mm hmm I don't think the lighter ever runs out. I think I can just do this wherever I see one. Well, I found a key, so... I never bothered to do this back when I first played this game, by the way, because I didn't know you could do that. I damn it, I own Funko Pops and people seem to hate me for it. I don't hate I don't hate people who own Funko Pops. I hate Funko Pops. There's a difference. I was gonna say I own a couple Funko Pops. Just means I'm not gonna buy them anymore because I don't really like them as much as I used to. Yeah. I will say I feel bad. One of the last like things I ever gave my dad for one of his birthdays was a Funko Pop of one of his favorite movies. And I'm like, oh if, if only I had given him a gift with actual meaning. <laughs> wow, this looks actually really nice now that it's actually lit. I've got enough batteries I can keep the fucking flashlight around for a bit. It's too bad you couldn't carry the tongue around. Oh god. Imagine if the tongue was a weapon. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> oh god, like it makes the sounds just like holy mackerel. Mm -hmm. Tongue kill, tongue kill. Tongue kill, oh, the fish kill. God, take me back that to guy's the... Tongue I guess tug game must have been off the chain, you know what I'm saying? Spiral. What? Spiral. <laughs> You're talking about tongue game, but that shit was too on the nose. You're in a completely different area, my guy, person, friend. Well, you'd have to have a, a certain level of tongue game in order to repeatedly ingest spiders. You would. You know, you until would. your tongue falls off. Yeah. I'd be going up to people and be like, yo, yo, I'm like... I'm like the fucking best when it comes to oral. And then like we they fucking <laughs> like they fucking lie down and they and they bed and they start fucking taking their clothes off and I'm like, "What? What the fuck? No, what are you doing? That's not what I meant." And I start like shoveling spiders into my mouth. Oh my god. This is the dumbest <laughs> shit. This is the worst. This is like offensive. Oh it's my god, offensive. and I thought I said something out of pocket. Jesus. <laughs> oh, the lantern's here already lit. Oh, giving fuck. them a tongue lashing. Oh yeah, you're supposed to block that door in case the dog comes for you, but uh No, listen to this music by the way. This is the music I like heard in my head anytime I went in a cave in Minecraft. After playing this game. Beat up the dog. Beat him up. Kill him. Oh, I see him. Look, there destroy he is. The, destroy the animal. Hey, loser. <laughs> get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh. What the dog doing? <laughs> what a perfect time for that redeem. Goodness.
Yeah, I think we're good now. You know, the lanterns you... actually kind of help with my pathfinding a bit. Yeah, I, ima I imagine they would. All right, so where to from here? That's the real question. Uh, well, into the room I just opened up, I feel. Mm. Yeah. Wait, was that the door? No. No, I could have sworn I just heard like a like a groaning noise. Yeah, it was not the door. Well, what the fuck was it, was it? I don't know. It... Well, just in case. God. I'm fucking looking... I'm looking behind me and shit now. Oh my god. Remember the time I tried streaming fucking Visage and like stopped as soon as like a ghost appeared and you said <laughs> you said this is like fucking I can't remember but you made like a you made like a comparison to like fucking like jerking it and then like stopping right before you nut or something. <laughs> like, you could yeah. you compared me not like going any further cuz I was too scared <laughs> to orgasm denial. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this is what the lighter is actually for, is is lighting the TNT fuse. Ah, yes, lighting the, the very short fuse, and then dying. Thule? Isn't Thule like an actual company? Thule. Thule. It's a Swedish company that owns a collection of brands related to outdoor and transportation products. They include cargo characters, carriers for automobiles, and other outdoor and storage products. Oh. <clears throat> Evidently, I need to carry this somewhere. Oh. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. God damn it. This old cement mixer's seen better days. I, I, I struggle to imagine what, like, an optimal cement mixer looks like or, or why that would be necessary. This cement mixer has seen better days. It's all mixed up. I just want to call attention to Claire's thing saying, I'm amazing at oral, begins to eat food. Reminds me of that one lovely little comic <laughs> where the girl is like, I warn you, I'm an animal in bed. And she's like, I'll cuddle under the blanket. She says, pet me and bring me food. That's just me as fuck. <laughs> this is all new territory we're in. There's like this fucking synthetic groaning and like gurgling at all times. It seems to indicate some type of machinery. I've seen that. Yeah, because it's cute as fuck. Okay, workshop. There's a passcode? Fuck. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe I've already picked up the notes as what I need. No. No. I don't think we would have found the fucking coast, like the post for it now. Men Don't Scream did a version involving a character from Hyperdimension Neptunia. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bring me food. How about some spiders? God. First pissy shitties, then whippets, and now spiders. <laughs> I can't catch a break with the fucking Sasha lore, dude. This is where I need to be. I love my workshop. It is two. Great. A hunting ground to let others gorge their faces. One. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do this bit. It's 2148. Wait, no, it's actually backwards. So it's. 8412. <laughs> See, I'm smart. I'm SMRT. I mean, SMART. <laughs> Very even... good. Okay, that's TNT. You heard it here, folks. We're dealing with Simpson level intellect here. God. Ah, that's that. That was my ah! best Bart scream. It was not very good. Bart, I don't want to alarm you, but <laughs> maybe a boogeyman or boogeyman in the house. <laughs> ah! Ah! I've already forgotten. Eight four Bart. one two. Bart, I don't want to alarm you, but the spiders are really tasty. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they're growing bigger. Ooh, spiders. Mmm, spiders. Mm, spiders. Oh. <laughs> this is a disgusting wall texture. Oh, terrible. It's filthy. I don't even think it's disgusting. It's it's just bugs. Profoundly, profoundly what? disturbing. <laughs> it looks like the hole's at least three feet below the surface. The light's being refracted through all that ice. It could just be a piece of ice reflecting the light, but something's definitely catching my eye under those rocks. <gasps> We've already found our better weapon. The hammer will never come out again. Oh, it's not for anything else? No. So old, I don't even know what it could be used for. All the things you'll need to be successful as a carpenter. You got your wood, you got your cutting implement. It's all good. This must be tied into what's going on here. If I keep experimenting, I may discover something useful. Or have a heart attack. That's, uh, quite a lot at stake. I... I... Yeah, I don't like this area. Oh. An electric fence. That's, that's been put up recently. Someone doesn't want me in there. Well, that wasn't a good noise. That was the wooding, that was the boards I was just moving around. Uh, wow, the sound design in this game is phenomenal. Come on. There we go. Finishing move. All right, well... Hit with the hammer! I bet that'll work! You know what? Just because you said that. How well, is that not killing you? Because the handle is wood. Oh. And the handle on this is insulated. Ah! Just looking at these webs makes my skin crawl. Well, then stop looking trying at them, Try and destroy them. Try and destroy them. The webs. Yeah, hold up. Nah. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Uh... <laughs> God damn it. Fuck me. Where are you supposed to go? Well, I found a pickaxe no. <laughs> under the rocks. No TV and no beer makes Homer go something, something. God Don't whiz it. on the electric fence. <laughs> the, it's, it's the greatest party game for families everywhere. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Can I talk I about the electric fence and ride to hell again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and how you piss on it? No, I wish... That would actually oh, be cool. on it and then dies? Yeah, no. I, honestly, like, as abominable as that game was, that was a perfect ending. I think the main character got exactly what he deserved, dying to his electrocution. Okay, I, I feel like this, it, sh it should be obvious, but chat, Spiral is making this up. That's not how Right to Hell Retribution ends. No, it ends with him falling <laughs> off a cliff because he's a fucking idiot and that game sucks. No, it ends with the villain falling off a cliff. <laughs> Wait, hold up. And then he falls off a cliff too, into an electric fence. I wish. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and then I come in and kick him in half because he sucks. <laughs> uh... No, there's, a, there's an electric fence in um, Right to Hell Retribution, and you would think that the solution would be to either, like, find a power station to shut it off. Ah, there we go. I don't see a fuse. Oh, Good. well, better just hit it. You could just hit it and crack it open. Oh, I did. I tried that. I can't believe that didn't work. That would have been an awesome solution, like, crack it open and have to drag it. Right? Really? There's nothing else in this workshop? No string, huh? Oh. Have, I ever shown you the, have I ever shown you the game I Ninja? Oh, I found the string. It's right here in this explosive box. I don't think you have. 
So it's like a collectathon type game that's more like combat based. Um, and one of the mission types that pops up, I think, two or three times is one where you have to like. There are multiple mission types where you have to like balance yourself on something and like roll it around. Oh. Um, and one of the mission types that I think pops up at least twice, maybe three times, is one where you have to ride an explosive barrel that's leaving gunpowder everywhere. So you have to properly guide it to the correct location in order to uh, do the thing. And so it's like a maze. And then after that, you have to activate it. But if somebody fucks it up while you're running on it, then you fucking die. I can't ignite a soap string. It has to be a proper so like, fuse. So, like, I've seen that mechanic done before. I'm kind of sad they didn't do it now. That's fair. Hmm. I need to soak the string in some... I, I soaked the string in uh, backstream. Now it just needs gunpowder. Only problem is I can't remember where the... Oh! No, that's not it. There's a pile of gunpowder somewhere. I remember that very, very clearly. It should be in either a pile or a fucking barrel somewhere. Mining slag? Oh. Physics objects keep noiting me out. Remnants of a past age of industry. Me when I go to New Jersey and see anything. I, I'd be down to live in the Rust Belt, not gonna lie. It's a nice little hey, aesthetic. Hey, Sasha, I'm cur I'm curious. You grew up with a PS2, right? I, I did. Yeah, okay, good. Because um, my follow-up question is, what are some games on the PS2 that you think look really, really good on, like, <laughs> specifically, like, original CRT hardware? The reason why I ask is because when I was checking out uh, my new my new domain that I'm going to be living in, Ooh. Uh, I noticed that there is a CRT TV downstairs that's in really good shape. And nice. I want to use it, so I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure that out. What games do you think like look better with that? Because a lot of games were kind of designed <laughs> with those in mind when they with their art direction and stuff. That is true. Um, I can't think of any in particular. I just end up like listing off games that I really like that were on the PS2. Mm. I mean, Black is a really good one. I want to play Black on this channel, actually. That'd be cool. <clears throat> Once Rocco beats Ghost of the Babe, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna see about uh, getting him to uh, getting him on here for a Silent Hill stream. Yes, Clara, I Ninja. Good old I Ninja uh, with the main character that's voiced by the same motherfucker who voiced Philip J. Fry. Oh my god. Symphony of the Night is good, but that's also PS1. Yeah. It would look good, though. It was designed for it. Yeah. So, makes sense. If I ever get access to a disc copy of it, I would happily play that on there. That would be fun. Oh, I want to get that so bad. Right? Fucking... I bet it's expensive as shit right now. Probably Fucking... like $80 or something, or some ridiculous number. You know what? I'm curious, because I want to look it up. That's one of my favorite games. Yeah, do it. Fucking, I've, um, I mean, I was able to nab some pretty good retro games recently for some decent prices. Um, I got my hands on Gran Turismo 2 and 4 for really good prices. Um, I've got oh. fucking V-Rally 2, which is a game nobody remembers except for me Holy and Casey. Shit. <clears throat> Holy shit. With the jewel case, uh, best offers I'm looking at are 150. Yeah. Uh, 170, 175. Oh. Sounds on brand. There's somebody who's uh, selling it for fucking 45 on eBay. Not bad, not bad. They're undercutting it a lot. That one's in good shape, too. Oh, yeah. Green label copies are a little cheaper. You can get them for 100 Yeah, you'll find a lot of the value in these comes from the manual. Mm-hmm. I can't remember where the gunpowder is. Give me a second. I'm gonna keep the guide up just so, cause you know, so we keep a brisk pace, cause you know, adventure games like this tend to have that happening. <clears throat> Actually, that's kind of that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I might think about spending money on that in the future when I have some disposable income. 
Uh, <clears throat> I like it. I like it. The castle. Hello? Huh? What you doing? Uh, I'm looking at the Kai. Oh, uh, yep, now I see it. I was tapped out because I'm doing something on my browser. Okay, want to hear something funny? Hmm. There's no switch to turn off the electric fence. You're actually just supposed to use planks and barrels to walk over it. That's so funny. I love I that. I actually really like that. Oh, God. <clears throat> Maybe for, like, a bonus feature at the end, I'll show everyone a little bit of Penumbra Requiem, which is a, uh, like, extra short... Um, like spin-off that is the last game in the series that was ever made not intentionally uh, because it doesn't wrap up any loose ends But um, it's puzzles only there's no like enemies or anything in it It's completely just like a spooky little puzzle affair like I spy spooky mansion oh. or shit But That's I found cool. I found that by grabbing one of these big lug luggage boxes that were like on the floor and holding it under me and jumping I could fly <clears throat> and some levels had enough verticality that they allowed you to make use of that. And I, I made a little video I was going to upload to YouTube where I, I videoed myself doing that and had Come Fly With Me by Frank Sinatra playing. <laughs> In fact, hold on. Let me see if I can try here. Oh, I can do it. Watch. Hold up. Check this out. I can actually prop fly. Yes. Ooh. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh my God. I can't believe it's still in this game. Oh, that's so cool. Quick, climb to the surface. Here, this is what I got to do it with. See, the only reason it worked with the things I was doing it with in the Requiem was because they were big enough. Oh my god, I'm prop flying. I'm fucking prop flying in Penumbra. Look, Mr. Krabs, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I'm, I'm fucking... feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Oh my god, I for I can't believe that actually worked. Yeah, Billy West. <laughs> Billy West. Uh, Spiral games look great on the CRT. Yeah, yeah, they would. Found a bit of advice from I Dr. have a, I have a Wrath of Cortex. Crash Bandicoot. I'm sorry. That was the first crash game I had too. No, that's the second that's the second one. That's the good one. No, you're thinking of um Wrath of Cortex is the bad one. You're thinking of um uh Cortex, Cortex Strikes Back. Strikes back. That's what it is. It's yeah. One. Yeah. Wrath of Cortex is the bad one. That. The oh, one that's that right. I that had. is the bad one. The one that you have. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And my first Spyro game was fucking Enter the Dragonfly. Oh no. Listen. That okay. one I'm familiar with. Had <laughs> Sonic Heroes too. Could you Shadow of the Colossus? That'd be pretty cool. I have Shadow that. of the Colossus. I've been meaning to play that. Mm -hmm. That game's fun. Remember when Rocco said he didn't like it, and my immediate response was, Okay, Rocco, your electric chair date is this. Oh my god. And he was like, you're really just gonna shit on someone for not liking a game that you like? And I'm like, oh, I've never played it. And he's like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Look, you don't even, like, press any buttons, you just take the battery off the thing. I'm gonna keep it on, actually. Mr. Electric, send him to the fucking oh, battery fence chamber. Explosivo! See, there you go. Now you can break some doors. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, now you can break stuff. You've always been able to break stuff. You just haven't been aggressive enough. Oh, I gotta... I can't believe destroying a gunpowder barrel didn't kill me. Look at these bombs. Bailar bombs. Bomba. Bombs. Lab oil. <clears throat> Rope. Bombs. Bombs. Are those like actual cartoon bombs? Yeah, they're cherry bombs. They looked a little big for cherry bombs. Bombs. You want it? You're not a war criminal if, a criminal if there's no military left to arrest you. God, I wish you weren't right. With my luck, a dog will be out here. Hmm. Weird. Unless they just don't telegraph them with howls anymore. And they just send them on you anyway.
I just want this particular theme to stop playing. I don't like it. <laughs> there we go. Oh! <laughs> Danger close. But a boom. Now a bunch of monsters are gonna come out and you're gonna have to melee for your life. God, I wish you weren't right. And they're well, gonna call you a swit. Oh my god. I have to crawl through oh Oh They're gonna call you uh other nasty names in Dark Elf language. Clara says, do you think the pick hurts more than the hammer? It does. When I, I would look, assume as much. When I look back, I can't think what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance still being alive, or something as ridiculous as facing adversity and coming out on top. Now, I know I would have been better off starving or being mauled to death than kick, than kickstarting the chain of events that lead me to end up here. Okay, so he's saying I it actually would have been better off if I died. Instead oh my of God. what happens later. I just hope, once you understand my story, you will have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. Fun fact, uh, there's a mod for Amnesia, a custom story for Amnesia, that is meant to continue the story of these games as it never got finished after, um, after Requiem. It's a mod for Amnesia called Penumbra Necrolog. Interesting. So we've gone from, like, World War II mineshafts to, like, modern shit. Yeah, because I'm guessing it's probably like whoa, 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 whoa. slightly. Thank you for the host patch. Thank you for the host uh, patch. God. Patch. <laughs> Jesus, are you trying to kill? Are you trying to scare me? Maybe. That rock fall almost sounded organic, like the rock screaming. Weird. I don't like this. There'd have to be some kind of backup system for the electricity. I think this might be it. How was the game so far? Sasha stream. Welcome on in. Spooky? It is spooky. Welcome on in. Uh, Spiral, could we get a shout out for the homie Patch? Yeah. You bet. Well, Professor Patch is the coolest motherfucker. I can't wait to have them on stream again. Yeah. They're currently... They're the... Sky. Sky. The rock's creaming. Oh, the creamy rock. Sky, the I, rock am, creams. I am massaging my fucking temples with the force of a thousand pounds right now. I can't believe you fucking... You and fucking I'm applauding your things. efforts. Good for you. Good for you. Good for moving you. On. Good for moving you. on. Moving on. Proud moving of on. You. Okay. Genuinely, though. Beautiful contribution. <laughs> yeah. I love it when Sasha gets like this. This is beautiful. God damn it. Wonderful. God damn it. My own co-host is actively working against me. We'd like to you make said it, not me. No, I didn't. I just read the thing that said screaming. Oh, mm, fuck you. Uh, what I was trying to say before I was fucking flabbergasted was that Port Professor Patch is a wonderful fucking person. I can't wait to have them on stream again. They are currently on hiatus, but when they come back, it's going to be good. Me when I'm on hiatus. Cell is also <gasps> on hiatus, which is why they're here, streaming. <laughs> hold up. I gotta put this away before my flashlight runs out of batteries. Or I picked up a bunch of batteries, but hold up. Um, notes. Congratulations on your purchase from the Type 7 product line. We are certain that you will be pleased with your new petrol-driven electrical backup system. Below are highlighted just a few of the added and improved features of the 7G model. Avoid personal wear and tear. The wind-up startup motor has been replaced with a battery-driven unit. Grease in the industrial workplace can be an accident-inducing insurance nightmare, so enjoy the new increased grease control system. Oh man, that's what I'd be calling it when I fucking, uh... Uh, Sasha, you're wonderful, hush. No, you hush, motherfucker! I'm, I'm putting you on mute in the chat. I'm... I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Um... Quick save? I can't quick save, I'm afraid. Although, this is what I used to save with, so here we go. It feels as if I'm leaving my body for just a moment. It's like I go someplace. So you're astral projecting when you touch these little fucking Inuit devices. Is Inuit the ah. correct term? Or is, is that... Is that uh, no longer the correct heck term? If, heck if I know. Because I know the other one that I'm not going to say isn't the correct term, which I didn't learn until I was in middle school. I've been muted. I can't believe it. 
Oh, also, no. by the way, I meant to say it, but go check out Skykey on Twitter. Amazing artist. Just saying. Yes. Please do. This is literally just a fucking sales manual. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G. Wait! This is a Simpsons reference! Sector 7G. Yes! I. We were Sector just. Sector 7G. Sir. I can't believe this is a fucking Simpsons reference. Oh my god. We got, we got Captain we Cthulhu's got fucking oh noodles. God. Captain Holy Cthulhu's crap, squid Lord, soup. <clears throat> no. Holy crap, Lord, it's a fucking Simpsons reference. Oh my god. I just tweeted about how I misspelled my own name. It's too late. You must suffer the consequences. That makes me want to tweet it more. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of, of equipment and personnel. Connect the, sec the confirm... Secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Release excess I'll steam. Like your appropriate valve. Don't threaten me with a good time, motherfucker. <laughs> we we still we we were still making plans to hang out sometime. Don't don't fucking don't oh fucking make promises you can't keep, motherfucker. <laughs> don't call my bluff. To be fair, it mainly wasn't something we came to fruition with because both of us are kind of dealing with like personal upheavals right now. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not drawing furries. Uh, hey, there's nothing wrong with drawing furries. As a furry right, there's myself, nothing wrong I with drawing furries. furries. Yeah, there's a furry right here in my chat. Do you have something to say, Sky? Hey yo. This thing's huge. Oh man, it must be fucking 3.5 giga shits per mega fart. All right. Time to throw the switch and turn off the supercomputer and kill Xana. Oh, it doesn't work. All right. What a deep cut. What a deep cut that no one's going to know except for maybe like five people did here. You, did you really just make a fucking Code Lyoko reference? Yes. That shit was my shit forever. I still be checking it Those out again big sometimes. forehead motherfuckers. Yeah, look. Okay, that show slapped. I will not have any bullshit. <laughs> I will not have any slander. Yeah, for everybody real. On the but everybody on the show looked like Johnny 2x4. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? From that at Netty! From that at Netty! Oh, oh John, what is that? His actual that's name. What the, that's what they call him. They call him Johnny Two by Four. That's his actual name. Blank. Well, I don't know, <laughs> but that's just what everybody in the cul-de-sac calls him because <laughs> he has plank. Yeah, I actually been meaning to fucking rewatch that show with friends because I, I like it a lot. Connected to very right here too. S Correct, Rummy. Yes, it was fucking amazing. Thank you, Clara. Uh, I liked it. Connect and confirm secondary flow. I, I was trying to talk about it with a partner once, and I'm like, this show's kind of dark. Like you, like, you look at any other, like, show where it's like, oh, the kids have superpowers and they save the world. It's like, oh, you know, it'll be something, like, silly like Captain Planet. No. Second fucking episode, nuclear disaster. Third episode, drive a bus of kids into a chemical plant. <laughs> Just absurdity. All right, um... Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. I'm assuming... Okay, first, I'm assuming that this is the secondary valve. Now, turn on the cooling system, which I'm pretty sure is probably going to be this. Release excess steam until pressure is within safe limits. Wait, we have to, we have to connect something, don't we? And the pipes... Okay. The, wa the walls of this hole aren't as uniform as the rest of the shafts. But why dig it out by hand? Uh-oh. <clears throat> what am I getting myself into? The cast died regularly. They reset each time. No, they don't die. They don't die. They established pretty early on that if you if somebody dies for real, resetting time doesn't bring them back. Oh, oh fuck. If you whisper in the game, you whisper for real. I hate you so much. There's nothing down here. Fucking excuse me. Spiral. Captain Planet did get dark sometimes too. The pipes, the pipes are calling. Oh, is that a is that a motherfucking Metro 2033 reference? <laughs> Listen, but do not stay for too long. 
I, I had a I had a fucking like deep dubstep song that was like very youngsta styled that I made back in 2016 called Cursed, and I sampled Khan from Metro 2033. I was super proud of it. What a good game! I can't. I I uh, a shame I've already played it on stream before. I'm sure I could probably play it again just for the fuck of it. Oh wait. I know what I'm supposed to do. Hold up. <laughs> That's the spare parts. You just push it into the fucking ravine. Referencing Danny Boy, the song. Oh. <laughs> Danny Boy, we're bound for stormy weather? Oh, it's the same car battery that I took off of the electrical fence. God, I gotta say, glow sticks is the modern lantern and have endless horror potential because of how they color- <gasps> I'm still alive. But they have endless horror potential because of how they color the landscape and everything. That's why uh, I installed a mod for Stalker Anomaly that lets me use them, and it makes the game look exactly as terrifying as you'd think. Okay, here we go. Okay. There we go. Start it motor functional. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Now, fluid. Now. Uh, release excess steam. Okay. I'm imagining it'd be this, because steam rises up. And now this. Not this. Oh my god! Wait. Use box? Oh my god, that fucking missed music. Okay. Right? I, I really like some of the themes and motifs in this game. <clears throat> the fuse box, huh? It died again. Oh. Damn. Well. It. <clears throat> Hold up. Do y'all know that that's like developer uh, voices reversed? Um, I mean, I kind of assumed as much. If I remember correctly, it's them talking about like fucking Santa Claus or some shit. Well, here we go back into the dark. Here I was thinking we'd be able to get through like that so easily. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Okay. He's on the other side of a fence. He's not even a threat. Oh, he's going the long way. Wait, he can't. Is there? Maybe they can. Hold up. Just in case. Because I don't trust like that. I don't trust like that. 12th of January, 72. Boys, I'd come have a word with you myself, but I've got more important things to do than piss about making sure you're all doing your jobs properly. Now, I know there's a certain amount of camaraderie between you lot playing pranks and jokes on each other. It comes with the territory, and that's fine so long as you don't add me to your list. God knows you need something to keep you entertained down here. However, you all know full well that Penrose has some very deep-seated issues with his height, so anyone who thought it'd be a good idea to sabotage his generator, then hide all the spare fuses on the top shelf in the storage room would quite clearly need his head examined. What a bunch of assholes. You're all supposed to be working in pairs, so nobody should be able to get their hands on a radio with the, with the spotting it. When I find out who's responsible, I'm gonna find out how they got away with it so long, and then I'm gonna fling them out into the snow and leave them there. They'll just disappear into the night just like all those radios. Wait, they're just throwing away their fucking radios? B people working in a mine shaft full of hallucinogenics and spiders are throwing away each other's radios for pranks? 
These kind fucking, of fucked up, right? These fucking idiots deserve to die. They're imbeciles, but it's because of the creepy chemicals. And the lead. Wait. Definitely also the lead. Wait. Hold up. That's Morse code. What's do 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 do? What does that mean? It's it's three dots and then wait. One, two, three, four, five. Five dots. Five dots. Uh, hold on a second. Can I write this down? Anybody have something to write this down with? Uh, this will have to do this fucking napkin. Give me a second. That was five dots. I was gonna say, you can just let me listen to it for a second and I can read it back to you. Sorry. You're good. Five, two, three. Wait. So five dots, two dashes, three dots. There's a space between the five dots and the two dashes. Okay. Two dashes after that three after the three dots. <clears throat> yeah. So it's actually one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. It's one, two, three, four, five. Then do, 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 do. And then do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> also, hi, Hex. Vex, how you doing tonight? Welcome on in. We're playing Penumbra Overture. Hello, hello. Okay, so that's the, that is a number five, uh, and then it's a five and a seven, a five, seven, and an eight. Five, seven, eight. Let me read it back. Let me hear it again. Do 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 do. Okay, do 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 do. Two, was that three dots and then two longs, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And that's, uh, three dots and two longs. That would be a three. So this is a, so that's a five. And then... Okay, so I did put the sequence incorrectly. So it's a five. Uh, oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, two, two, okay. Five, seven, and then three. Five, seven, three, and then eight. Five, seven, three, eight. Can someone in chat write that down? Thank you, Clara. You've already done it. Perfect. <clears throat> God. It's coming from this ham radio. For some reason, you don't like it. Okay. Is this a door code or something? It's evident that this isn't a storage room at all. <laughs> it's a radio room. 
Is the radio even powered? It's powered by the backup generator, it seems. You notice the music cue changed? Yes! It's now creepy once more. Yeah, so the purpose of the beef jerky is to, um, like, lure dogs away from you. But, uh, because I'm a psychopath, I don't have to worry about that. No! This part was always annoying. I remember hating it, and I remember a lot of Let's Players hating it. Let's see if we can fare better. Okay. In the event of an emergency, all mine workers are asked to follow the standard emergency procedure detailed in the leaflet provided. Rescue services were already be on their way, and so under no circumstances should employees attempt to aid colleagues themselves or con- This is... This is sus. You shouldn't attempt to help your colleagues. Or attempt to contact the emergency services. A- 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 an, an in-house emergency procedures document. Nothing about that radio red whale your stalker instinct should be blaring. We'll see. I've always been a little bit silly. So, an in-house emergency procedures document tells you not only to never help your colleagues in an emergency, but also to never call for emergency services yourself. Which should be your first instinct if you're in any kind of industrial accident. The code sheet is provided for use in the extremely unlikely event that you're trapped in the mine, with no way in which to signal or otherwise contact emergency crews. In this scenario, you should ensure the stability of surrounding environment of environment by tapping and feeling the rock. That's a real thing, right? Like to make sure there's no cave in. Yeah. Yeah. Once Absolutely. You once you feel certain there's no risk of rock slide, check to see if you have any form of communications device at hand and attempt to send a distress signal using the code sheet. Should such a device be unavailable or damaged, begin firmly tapping out a message on the wall of the cave. Yep. This this follows standard Morse code. So we were hearing we were hearing a 5738. Vex says basically let them die, forget they exist, and don't bother the higher ups, they're busy counting money. As someone who's played this game, I must unfortunately tell you that it is more than just capitalism we are dealing with here. Yep, it's also lead. <laughs> Oh, this fucker. You put it on the top shelf, huh? Yeah? Well, I could prop fly. <laughs> yeah, for, the, for those who didn't, who only are joining us now, I found out that I can prop fly by jumping on boxes. Come on. Come on, wait. I can do this. it. I can do this. it. I, I can do you. it. Don't put the flashlight away, stupid. It's no use. Okay. Patch, I don't even fucking give a shit about your silly one-liner. I gotta- I gotta get up there. It's no use. It's no use. The box isn't firm enough. Got it. Oh, broom? Oh, Hex says, I know. Uh, they've beaten this game. Alright. Knowing my luck, the dog has escaped. He was right over here. I hate the doggo music. Back when I used to play Amnesia, I got so afraid of it, I would listen to fucking power metal while playing it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Just to cheer yourself up. Yeah. So I'd be jumping around in the fucking, like, refinery, terrified, while saying, by any means necessary, and fucking, like, just falling. Oh. <laughs> See, I like that this is, this is like a, a, like, an actual, like, load zone door, which means doggos can't come in here. Alright. So, if we remember correctly... Second valve. Coolant. Steam. Grease. First valve.
Did I fuck something up? Did I forget? <clears> hey, <throat> okay. run the appropriate valve for the secondary flow. Turn on the cooling system to avoid overheating. Release excess steam until pressure is within safe limits. There's nothing about, like, a steam display, so I think I just have to, like... It's just hitting them all in the correct order, and that's it. Grease flow. And now the primary valve, right? <clears throat> Pull the main operation lever. Something isn't right here. <laughs> that kind of describes the entire game, don't you think? Okay. I'm beginning to think perhaps... Hold up, wait. Okay, you cannot start you cannot start the generator by punching it. What am I missing? We've got the spare battery. We've got the fuse. The switches all seem to work correctly. So what am I missing? <coughs> Right? Is this not the correct order? Might be misinterpreting the signs. That is true. Give me a sec. Maybe that's not... Oh, I have to... I have to fucking flip the switch to fix it all again. Okay. Yep, yep. Right. Gotta turn it on. Right. The air down here is getting to me. That's definitely your secondary, because I can tell that pretty fucking clearly. This might be the grease and not the coolant. That's the coolant. This is the steam. This is the grease. And this is the first. Let's try that. Knew it! Alright. <clears throat> okay, but in what fucking world? In what fucking world is a water droplet icon not a like like not like a coolant or water thing? I dr I mean Oh, it tells Hydraulics. you when you look at it. Hydraulics. A symbol for water. Fuck you. That's not water. This is water. Right? You're bullshit. Confusing. Whatever. How you would know the what? character even how would the character even have access to this information? Like how would they're making assumptions. Yeah, they are making baseless assumptions. Whatever. We did it. We turned on the generator and we now Oh my god. Look at the motion Moving blur real go. real fucking fast, yeah. <laughs> Why did you kill yourself? <laughs> I, I, ha I, I like to imagine Philip just reaching forward and grabbing it and being fucking spun like a fucking washing machine. Yeah, just like... <laughs> <laughs> just like it's like turned oh. into paste. Don't touch the generator? That won't stop me because I'm Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh, do, do you see? The... Yeah. I could try to grab it. It's really funny. Wait, if I throw it, I could stop it from spinning. That's so funny. What the hell? I could stop it from spinning. Oh, oh my god. You know what? Listen, <laughs> all right. I've been so fucking freaked out this whole playthrough. I have to take like a little bit of time. To, to have some goofage. Okay, so we know the door code to exit is 5738. I can't say these tunnels look any 
comfier with the lights on, actually. Uh oh. He's still there. Good day. Yeah. Oh. Can you hear me? oh my god. This is a human. Oh, person. Holy shit. Ashley Whiskey says, girlfriend a dumb fennec bimbo, please. Viral, you're a dumb fennec bimbo. Ah, you're a dumb snake bimbo, Ashley. Ah. Ah. I like this guy, <clears throat> and I'm sure you like him too. Daiki says, I'm worried about you stopping heaven machinery by throwing yourself into it. Fuck, I gotta take off the glasses. Alright, Marcus, I'll take them off. Hey, what's up, Marcus? Welcome on in. Hold up, uh, Spiral, can we get shouts out, shout outs for, um, Ashley and Marcus, please? Yeah, I can do that. No rush. I'm gonna turn on the timer for the glasses. <clears throat> Welcome on in, by the way, Ashley. Hope you're having a wonderful night. And you too, yeah. Marcus. Good to see you. Yeah, hello, hello. Hello to you both. Got it. <laughs> oh, oh, on God, you're approaching me? Oh. Get back up, get back up. All you're gonna do is just make some fucking stock dog noises at me? <laughs> you killed it. It's dead. No, I didn't. I have to stop, double time. Stop! Stop! He's already dead! <laughs> Marcus says, Hi, Ashley, and thank you, Sasha. Doing well so far. Doing the Star Trek Summer Event. Good shit. Nice. We are um, committing acts of animal cruelty, um, joking about shoveling spiders into our mouths, and attempting to uh, kickstart expensive power machinery. So, whoever it was on the fucking uh, radio told us to go here. What happens if I try to go here? What happens if I directly disobey what he told us to do? Oh. Ah, uh, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. For this task, we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It is a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. This man is insane. This guy says, wait, you were joking about the spiders? Shit, I gotta go free them now. Uh, insert dead dog joke. Propane gas canister. Highly pressurized. Okay, then. Zero damage. <clears throat> doesn't re doesn't Cell's floofy ears look tantalizing? Don't you just want to... <laughs> mo mo motorboat them. Um, I can't uh, say I can't say it hasn't. I can't say I haven't thought about it. Moving on. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck you! Wait, why couldn't I use the propane canister on this dog? I should have done that. Oh, oh, you're running away, huh? You're running away. Oh, oh my god, this guy hits. Oh, this is just like Dark Souls. Okay, we're good. Bills to dull the pain. 
propane propane god damn it bobby <clears throat> okay but I, I i can never think about king of the hill without thinking about that one bit where Boomhauer is remembering something happening, and he he <laughs> imagines everybody else is speaking like him and himself speaking normally. Talk about dangling yeah. that boy ain't right, man. Talk about kicking a big old ass, man. Tell you what. <laughs> That's what's so funny about it. Hank, for God's sakes, can you act like an adult? I've been trying to read like this article adult? on vintage Camaros, and I've been on the same dang page for 20 minutes. <laughs> Dang it's, one of my it's one of my favorite bits from <laughs> the whole fucking show honestly between that and when he meets his uh, when we meet his mom for the first time and she sounds just like him <laughs> oh it cracks me up i love it Dang old fire at megalo mart <laughs> <laughs> this area loops around i see i i it, I actually didn't disobey any orders. Brad Pitt plays his brother. That's beautiful. I love it. I love that. I also love that fucking Boomhauer. You bitch! I will not stop until every last canine has been eradicated from the premises. Get back up. You're next, Marcus. <laughs> okay uh the good news i'm pretty sure all the dogs are gone the bad news i've completely lost my spatial awareness <clears throat> vexes i love that it's kind of like the shows that look into the mind of the dumbass of the show and they see themselves as a smart one and everyone else is stupid that's true you heard me marcus Okay, this is not where I entered. Oh! Uh oh. Those holes in my mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing it. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my admittingly cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy freshly rolled in its own feces. Jeez. He's mad. It's better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Jesus. <clears throat> Boomhauer is smart, he just talks funny. That is true, yeah. But yeah, he's incredibly intelligent. This is a Texas Ranger. My are like a why, why, why am I conversing with a Redditor over a shortwave radio here? Sorry, they say. I don't know, why are you? Oh man, I'm, I'm so sorry I was an asshole. Do you want to go on a date sometime? Go back to r slash brain cells, you fuck. <laughs> go back to r slash gorging yourself on spiders. <laughs> Claris, I, I was on r slash spiders when I was having my spider crisis last year, and I literally saw a picture of a guy with a fucking black widow in his hand, and he's like, hey, I didn't know what kind of, sp it was like a female black widow, so it didn't have like the same design that, it was a, I think a male, I can't remember which one it was, but it wasn't the one that people normally know of, so he was like, oh, I can't really tell what the spider is, and the, uh, the most upvoted comment was just, he's holding it. There is so many dumbasses are like that, though, IRL. Yeah, that's true. They have an entire political party. In fact, they have a lot of political parties here. This box should be as ancient as the rest of the mine, but it looks in better nick. The side facing the excavation seems more corroded. Which would seem to imply that... It would seem... If, if the side facing the actual unearthed material is more corroded, would that imply something about the material that's been excavated? A broken ladder. I love how you get like a depth of field effect when you expect something that's cool. Mike Judge got the Boomhauer voice. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. He did get it from someone calling and. Oh.
Huh. It appears they've they, they've unearthed something here. Are we on? Are we on fucking um, LV? Oh, yeah, because like that voice, the Boomhauer voice, is like from a real subset of Americans. Um, yeah. What, yeah. <laughs> what was that noise? What was that noise? There's a draft coming for that dank-looking hole up there. All the same, it's hardly inviting. Oh. Oh. Well, the test substance continues to defy it. What was that? Oh, sparks. Continues to defy identification. Both chemical and xeno investigations fail to produce meaningful results. Testing continues. Bromine test, pH 5 normal. Acid, um, acid amide test, negative. Ammonia NH3, negative and reactive. Hydrochloric acid, negative for sulfate, sulfide, and chlorate ions. Standard hallucinogenics, mild intoxicant. Tests abandoned due to most test subjects suffering massive... Oh... Oh no, should I, should I be in this room? Positive negative metal caches incomplete. Human hallucinogenics incomplete. Testing of the gaseous fog has been considerably more successful. It appears to be a harmless blend of sulfur, chlorine, and aromatic amine, which gives it the floating visual effect. Please note that harmless here is used in the xenochemic sense. It is harmless in so far as we have identified it and can take the necessary safety measures. If directly ingested, it would naturally be lethal. Potassium dichromate paper, positive for sulfur. Litmus test, negative for all but chlorine. So, if I'm reading this correctly, the spiders live in these caves, as many cave spiders do. These caves are laced with this solution. Naturally, the spiders now have it in them. Eating the spiders, as our poor scientist did earlier, ingest like allows you to ingest the chemicals in more safe amounts so instead huh. of killing you it just makes you go fucking crazy huh so it is indeed some kind of substance that is currently laced into these cave walls and the two methods of transmission are either direct inhalation or consuming it through Species that have also absorbed it, like spiders. Uh, like spiders. Uh, positive for aromatic amine. Work continues on the issue of transporting the substance. So far, removing it from its dormant location causes its base state to rapid, radically change, producing massive heat to the detriment of three workers, one of whom is no longer operational due to his injuries. So this is an unstable substance, and if you try to remove it, if you try to move this, it immediately becomes superheated. <laughs> Following heat dissipation, the substance appears to turn dead, unreactive to every test we have the equipment to run. The prevailing theory is that somehow the disruption of the material causes it to enter hugely accelerated chemical decay. We estimate its half-life to be approximately 0.4 seconds. This is actually fascinating. Huh. The rock itself looks like it's given up on life and begun to decay. So, I was correct. The... This excavated, this excavated substance appears to be rapidly decaying mm -hmm. everything. Yep. Including you! I think I need to leave. <laughs> I think I need to leave. I think I need to close the game. I think, I, I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. It might have even been mixed into their venom. That is true. So here we go. So that wasn't the tool shed. Decaying but not killing. Yeah, this is getting intriguing. You know what this reminds me of? Did y'all ever play Ice Escape? It was a uh, point. I haven't. It was a horror point and click adventure survival game that was made in Flash. And the whole idea was it's like a, it's like a it's like a, a point and click adventure game with horror stuff where you're trapped in an Arctic base and have to escape. But like there's like a survival element so if you don't constantly like do things to increase your body heat you are constantly on a timer that will cause you to freeze to death huh it's a cool little game wish i got to play it before flash got discontinued yeah that's a shame huh 
So Red said something about us not being able to enter the storage room for now. Why is that? Ah. Shit's locked. It's blocked from the other side. I need to find another way in. Uh, beyond the fence to the right should be a hole or perhaps an access point to reach further into the mine. Well, both of those doors access this area, so... Where was the game hosted? Um, it was hosted on a lot of sites. Uh, Addicting Games, uh, One More Level, both of those sites being the ones I played the most. Probably on Congregate as well as Armor Games. Well, maybe not Armor Games, but it was on Congregate. Can't believe I remember half of this shit. I still got a Congregate account. They still send me stuff. Could this be it? No. Whoa! <laughs> Get a little jump scare from that? From the eyeball? <sighs> Did I get scared by a fucking cement mixer? You sure did. I hate this. I hate this shit. I can't believe people just fucking watch me do that. My flashlight's getting low. Oh! Oh god. Oh god. I remember what the saw is used for. Cell, you're not gonna like it. No, oh, no. This Zeta is gonna suck, isn't it? Or it's gonna be really violent. Xeno report 66B. Xeno? What the fuck is Xeno? Who do we want? Xenu. <laughs> when do we, we want him? Ten trillion, Ten trillion years. years. <laughs> phase, phase 9, Anno 9002, Anno Domini 1992. Filed by Chief Attending Xeno Officer for the eyes of the leading installation officer only. Leader. Okay. We have some type of excavation or... Uh, research facility where your main safety protocol tells you that in the event of emergency you should not help colleagues and you should not attempt to contact emergency rescue authorities they call each other they 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 refer to whoever is their site director or foreman as leader I have a bad feeling about this Unlike the other findings, 66B appears to be a manufactured rather than natural origin, so warrants additional interest. Was 66B the shit we found in that cave? It is not named. Um, and warrants additional interest in need essay security. Xenomorphs are here. Oh, if only it were so simple. The bulk of substance 63 was discovered only six yards from where artifact 66B was buried, and appears at least in part to consist of a solidified form of 63, with a number of operable, append op op operable appendages. The artifact emits a low level of light from a seemingly inexhaustible energy supply, suggesting its origin is indeed as was suspected. Of course, the ramifications of this fact are clear, and appropriate measures are already being taken. Are, are they implying that it's radioactive? Progress in becoming enlightened as to the Becoming enlightened as the purpose of the device, that's not what you say when you're talking about researching some kind of artifact or substance. You don't say becoming enlightened. I mean, they're already calling each other leaders, so I mean, I... Yeah, it's already, it's already cult-like. There's like, already, already a lot of... the point of no return here. I don't know what, what, what passes as a Kool-Aid substitute down in the cave, <clears throat> but everybody's drinking it here. <laughs> If indeed it served a purpose in the traditional sense, it all has been slow. Following protocol to the letter, I assigned my secondary officer to the artifact on Phase 7, only for him to go missing the following day? He eventually returned to the site from a previously uncharted area of the mines, presuming having discovered a new route, avoiding the cave-ins. At this stage, we can only assume what transpired since he remains in a state of disorientation. Far be it for me to question the Far be it for me to question the decisions of the el elevated cast? But I'm struggling to understand the necessity of conducting standard scientific oh, wow. testing in this case. I, of course, have full faith in the abilities of the research team, put together and sent here by immediate superior. I simply wonder whether their time might be better employed on the main site. Nevertheless, it is conforming to know, comforting to know that the actions of every member of the organization are carefully choreographed and controlled by those who far outrank myself, both in stature and wisdom. And with this in mind, I feel fully justified in filling an official open request for further manpower. <clears throat> okay, long story short, 
They found an artifact which I think is meant to be assumed to be the artifact that I am saving with and might be astral projecting with, which is how that guy interacted with it and disappeared and came back having found a rat through caves that seemingly were not charred by other people. I think this is me this is me being big brain Sasha. <laughs> so next is a weird, slightly off topic rant about the chain of command in whatever organization currently runs this research facility. He's asking for more people to join his team because he's lost a bunch of people just trying to, like, fucking investigate stationary objects. The tunnel system above the secondary site requires immediately cartography. Immediate cartography. If I'm reading this correctly, the research facility we're in down here existed parallel to the mine shafts above that were previously lead mines and were also used as uh, like outposts by allied forces during World War II. They existed in tandem, but did not know about each other. Or rather, they didn't uh, exist at the okay. same time. But this, the elevated cast, as we're going to call them now, established this research facility in these caves and dug them out, but did not know about the caves above at first. They are not part of the facility or an entrance, they are simply another area that they discovered having already built this facility. I'm beginning to understand what's happening here. There's a couple of different plot threads I'm meaning to follow. But... Huh. This game's actually a lot more fun if you're, like, paying attention and, like, reading into it like I wasn't when I first played. And I just <laughs> wanted to speedrun it to get through it to I so I could play Black Plague. Right. Which, unfortunately, is the first game in the Frictional uh, catalog to introduce the system of fuck you, you can't fight back. Mil okay, auxiliary shaft. That that's a tool shed. Excavation and storage. We've been in the excavation, which is where the excavation was. The tool shed is here. Let's check the auxiliary shaft. I can't help but think that those are supposed to be hiding places. Hmm. Found a grate leading deeper into this complex, but it's barricaded with a piece of wood on the other side. Need some way to shift it. Oh, come on. Wait. You can't blame me for trying. Oh. I forgot the saw is also used for this, mm -hmm. but there's a reason we keep Makes it in sense. our inventory. Oh yeah, well like there, well, I would think that you would keep, oh. Screaming rocks. This flashlight has like stalker clear sky levels of range and I hate it. Well, this is the auxiliary shaft. Oh. Here we go. Yep, there it is again. Here I go killing again. Doggy! Die. Hi, doggy. <laughs> where's, the, where's the lady that runs the flower shop? That's the real question. She's probably the one that owns all these dogs. I, too... Oh, thank you for the canteen sip. Also, hello, Runo. Runo, welcome in. I like how they give me explosives and hiding places to get an upper hand, but I don't need it because I have a weapon. Oh, uh, so we have a Hydretch. Would you like to join? Uh, I mean, sure. I've got water. And I've got uh, limbs that can be stretched. For now, anyway. Oh, what the fuck's that supposed to mean? I'm not the one getting dismembered here. You are. I'm approaching your location immediately. Well, good thing I'm self-repairing, I guess. Ah! Shit. That felt good. I generally don't understand why they had dogs. These dogs don't appear to have been a species that... Huh. Actually, they... I don't think the dogs are ever explained.
the Bruno dogs? Bruno. They're dogs. Bruno says hello, been lurking for a little while. Good to see you, Bruno. Hello, hello, hello. Rami says, oh, who's a puppy dog? You're a puppy dog. <laughs> huh. All right. That's where I came from. Oh, okay. Nothing. There's my prey. Oh, hey! What's up, dude? Topaz, what are you doing? Oh. Another doggo? Yeah. Oh, this this guy's this guy's got a little bit of a nerve on him. He's got a little bit of a a fight. Oh fuck! <laughs> I actually died. Well, it quick saves as soon as you walk in. So. See, I understand why they took out the combat, because you would play this and say, "Oh, this is not good combat." But instead of fixing, instead of making better combat, their solution was to just not have combat. Which feels like a taking my ball and going home solution. I bitch. Can we spiked him through the- Jesus, Claire, what the fuck? That's violent. At least I can sprint like this. Okay, we're good. So far, I'm kind of sad that there haven't been more enemies. Uh, yeah. If I remember correctly, there's only, like, one other enemy. I kind of spoiled it in the live tweet. <laughs> oh. I mean, Penumbra Black Plague also has the same problem of having no enemy variety, because it's always the same kind of guy. Um, at least Amnesia has, like, what, like, a good three or four? Uh, okay. The year 1990. Phase 33338. Filed by Chief Attending Chemist. Security status nil. Today marks the first phase of Excavation Team B's new assignment, which I will be overseeing. Equipment has arrived and digging should be able to commence within the next few hours. Since the incident leading to the establishment of our facility here... What incident? What incident? You know, the incident. Much work has been undertaken in order to ascertain the scope of the discovery. This site, among others, was selected for many possible candidates thanks to powerful div divination techniques passed down for many generations amongst the elevated cast? I feel certain that this wisdom in combination with our own seismic techniques will prove to be a great success and that our discoveries will be of great importance to the organization. While work has been slow up until now, the new year is sure to bring with it great prosperity for our team. That's in... <clears throat> 1991. Right? If I remember correctly? 9000. So... Yeah. This would be 1991. Uh, perhaps we shall enjoy some of the luck that the other teams seem to be already harvesting, for the routine work reports will be filed in the secondary log. Um, perhaps? Okay, so the phases are marked by... Jesus, this is getting weird as fuck. The routine log book has been filled many times over during the past nine moons. So little of interest to report, I find myself previously enthusiastic entries to appear as if written by someone else entirely. These logs are not for personal thoughts, but since no one is ever likely to read them... I'm probably safe right in now? saying that sometimes catch myself wishing I had never received this assignment at all, and was still stationed at the main facility. We discovered a tunnel system today running through the roof of the cave, which caused a minor rock slide, but no serious injuries were sustained. More's, more's the pity, perhaps if this place became a hazard, we could all be reassigned. Ah, so the whole, who cares if I get hurt, at least I get workers comp mentality is still fucking here, <laughs> even in weird cult science places. Oh my goodness. The noises in this mine at night are beginning to play with my mind. That is, when you can tell what time of day it is. Okay, he's already going stir-crazy, and he's only been in here for a year. 
Although I have been in charge of Site B for two cycles, this marks my first two years. This marks my first entry into the excavation log as the new chief attending chemist. Looking through the scarce results filed for initial year's work, I can see why my predecessors were replaced. Wait, why my predecessor was replaced? Okay. In a fraction of that time, I've achieved Team B's first major breakthrough, and in the discovery of previously unknown Substance 63, and the research team has been assigned tasks in record time. I fully expect complete identification of the substance to be available within seven phases. Furthermore, I've conducted an investigation into the noises reported by workers in this area of the mine, in the interest of morale. On nights that I spend here, there do indeed appear to be a strange human-like cries coming from somewhere deep in the rocks, but there is bound to be some exclamation. <laughs> This is fucking horrifying. Following this discovery of Sub-63, my team had a s second triumph in the unearthing of Artifact 66B. Um, the cast has seen fit to bring in a Xeno team in order to further extract the true nature of the artifact. Lack of water has caused very mild hallucination. Completed my analysis of the wailing and chattering sounds reported by those spending large amounts of time in this Shatter. locale. Hmm? I said chattering. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's a symptom of dehydration? Lack of water causes mild hallucination, combined with quite natural seismic activity, can sound a little like human voices. A thorough medical examination of the afflicted workers has been recommended, but in the interest of continuing work at maximum capacity, instead ordered increased water supplies. That's gonna run your water supplies dry. A water break every five hours. It came to my attention that the job of mapping the overhead tunnel system in this cave is long overdue. Yep, I knew it. They haven't mapped the actual mine shafts above. Uh, otherwise it would already have been completed. The officer in charge of the Xeno team is increasingly becoming an obstacle in my own team's research. He insists on overseeing perfectly routine tasks when given the defecation of his second in command. What? No, that's defection. Okay, I misread that. I would suggest his time is better spent taking control of his own responsibilities. Um, I tried warning him of the potential hazards. Uh, he would leap out of the chance to fall volunteer for the surveying of the tunnel system. In a most disheartening turn, the chief Xeno officer has not returned from his brave exploration of the tunnel system. In the days since he foolhardily trespassed into the tunnel system, which now appears to make up the domain for various aggressive local fauna, said creatures have become increasingly hostile, venturing into the excavation um, <coughs> system or site on more than one occasion. Oh. Uh. Okay. So. We have implications... The chief Xeno officer may have been the guy who was eating the spiders. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, so we finally know who the spider hater is. Says, in sp despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous, maybe not. Maybe not. But somebody, somebody who worked here, escaped into the mine shaft because he went to go explore them because he got pissed with nobody else doing it, and he never came back. The spiders started getting bigger and are coming into this um, facility. The final entry into the vinyl log for excavation site B. Events have forced us to curtail our work. We have taken more than one casualty to the organisms living above this cave system, leaving us no choice but to carry what equipment and documentation we can, abandoning all else. Their attacks have developed a discernible pattern, and we are due another in only a few minutes, so I must hurry. Oh, Jesus. The, the, the bugs are planning. But... But he might not even be talking about the bugs. Ugh... The noises that have been reported since the initiation of this project are still present. Now they sound more like laughing. I don't like this. <laughs> Runo says, what the fuck is this game about? To which Vex responds with, stuck in underground facility, bunch of fucked up shit happening. Um, yeah, so, Runo, this is a game about a uh, an Englishman finding a letter from his dead dad saying, hey,
go find my research in this one locker and destroy all of it. Instead, he goes to the he reads the fucking uh, reports and travels to one of the locations that are currently marked on it, leading him to a Greenland mine shaft where he falls down, is trapped, and ventures deeper to where he finds himself in this facility. And we are currently trying to figure out what the fuck has been happening here. <coughs> As far as we can tell, there's a couple of plot threads happening. I'll summarize them quickly. Uh, one guy living in the mine shaft after some form of accident forced him to sequester himself has been eating local spiders, cave spiders, mm -hmm. in such frightening volume that they have evolved bigger and tougher to not be eaten by him. Um, and I think it's implied they may have killed him. Um, there's, Most likely. Yeah. Uh... There's some kind of device we seem to be astrally projecting with, which we have been using to save this entire time. It's been inspected by the, the organization who runs the facility we're currently inside of. Uh, they've discovered some kind of substance in the cave, in the cave walls, in this bedrock, that seems to have some kind of hallucinogenic properties. When normally inhaled, it seems to cause brain hemorrhages and kills you, but when absorbed by spiders... Um, and ingested by eating the spiders, it instead causes hallucinogenic uh, and mind-altering effects not too dissimilar to mercury, almost? Or lead. Huh. Lead poisoning. Um, because this, the, the upper areas of the caves are lead mines. And it seems to be implied that the man who was eating the spiders was not only, like, going crazy because he's alone, but the substances that have been absorbed into the spiders are currently being absorbed into him. Uh... Huh. Because he's I mean, that is, yeah, that is definitely the implication, and that's very concerning. Aside from that, um, uh, much of what we're reading here is a little bit difficult to really ascertain. Um, this is the auxiliary shaft, so here we are. Well, here's our total recall device. <laughs> Looks like I'm about to tell somebody to let off some steam. Our cabin. I like that um, lead and whatever the fuck the substance was. Super lead. Oh. That was easy. Oh. This is the device we saved with, by the way. From out the door rises something so vast, something terrible. It strikes a man, knocking him down, and those standing by him wither into the darkness. Screaming be begins, I think that's meant to say. Still, Father looks on. Is he bringing this? Father, what have you done? I will be right back. I need to turn on my porch light. I'm getting something delivered. Sounds good, yeah? We'll be right here. I felt something that time I haven't felt before. Lead and unknown tanium. Essentially, yeah. Building the spider. Uh, looking at the spider would require me to go all the way back up to the upper areas, which I don't know if I can do. Power's on, but nothing else is on the cards. Needs ignition key. Hmm. Where's the keyhole? Well, I need to get into the storage room somehow. Wish I had a fucking map. We ventured into the auxiliary shaft. The storage room is inaccessible. What else lies in wait for us here? This is honestly, in my opinion, almost better than Amnesia because it paces itself nicely. There's not a whole lot of horrifying shit. It's just a nice... It's, it's a pretty comfy horror game in comparison to Amnesia, which is just all always on nightmare fuel. No sanity system. You can fight. 
I like this game. If it weren't for the ambience, this would be kind of comfy. Okay. Here's where we find ourselves. This is the key panel. Tool shed I've been to. Excavation I've been to. Storage is inaccessible. This is the auxiliary shaft, and that's where I that's where the mining machine is. I cannot access it. So How would I access the storage facility? Oh. I think I need to head back to the excavation. I think there's something I needed to do that I didn't bother doing. God. I'm getting SCP vibes. From just the atmosphere here. Which I know sounds silly as fuck, but... God, I shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have fucking said that. Say that. Flashlight's low on batteries. Thank God for me and Cell cracking that Morse code puzzle too. Hey, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Also, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, I I feel kind of bad because my porch light doesn't work, but they'll they'll figure it out. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, I just realized that it went out, and I was like, "Fuck, I don't have another one." <laughs> Reminds me of a uh, an Acacia Strange shirt I almost got. Where the, the text on the back says, Don't leave the porch light on, I'm not coming home. <laughs> so I realized there's, um, it was barely even a puzzle. Still cool. Have you played Cry of Fear or Afraid of Monsters? <sighs> I have plans to. I have plans to. Um, I might have to, I might have to drink myself up to get ready for that. Oh my goodness. So this ladder... Was cor this ladder is unusable because it was corroded by whatever was happening here. Yes, I I just realized that. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. I think I see what's going on here. We need to find some way to access up there. I can't bring anything through that door. Looking forward to that day. Lost in Vivo is also a great to game too. I'm not doing any of those games alone. I don't care if that makes me a loser. I'm not doing them alone. Fuck that. I'm not doing Cry Fear alone. Let me save real quick. Okay. Now this, it doesn't reach. Oh, wait, wait, this, it's a <laughs> weapon? Wait. The fucking broom's a weapon. Let's go curling, let's go. Wait, hold up. Woo! Don't fancy getting any closer to find out. Let me try mining. Alright, evidently not. Spiral Sasha needs hugs. I always need hugs, Vex, don't worry. To be fair, I always need hugs. I think both of us need hugs. <clears throat> we do. <clears throat> Wait, what if... Although I am the fluffier of the two of us, I will say that. That went off way faster than I thought it would. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. What if the broom does increase damage to spiders? Oh, that would be cool as fuck. I would like that, actually. Uh, I don't, something tells me this isn't how you're supposed to do the puzzle. 
All the supply crates are filled to the brim with bottled water, and now we know why. It's because the guy suggested they keep supplying more water on site for the dehydration that he thought was the cause of what was happening. Oh. Is there anything else I can climb up on? I don't like the sound effect coming from that thing over there, too. Oh, wait. I know what I can do. This... This is a simple fucking thing I should have figured out. <clears throat> Short box on top of long box. You're correct. And... This is how you make it happen. Content... 1342BAAR. I don't know what that could be. Get stacking. Oh, you fucking know it. I'm gonna stack this shit so hard. If you can just get up the fucking thing. Galaxy Brain. Oh, I have an actual Galaxy Brain uh, right here with me. There we go. Let's go! <laughs> I actually fell down a bit at the end there. Uh-oh. Xenomorphics. Huh, huh. Oh my god. Oh my oh, god. Spiders. This there is why we you go. Keep Here the we go. Time time for some action, baby. It appears Hold hold up, I know what to do with this. Get fucked up. What? This sh this should be dead. Holy fuck. Skinny dragon. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Skinny dragon, help. Help, help me, I'm being killed by spiders. Skinny Squad, here to steal your pasta. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh fuck. Thank you so much for the raid, Skitty. Hexodus will welcome in. I'm I'm having hey, my pasta raid stolen. Moment. Raid moment. Raid Skitty moment. Skinny Squad here to steal the pasta. Hell yeah. Can Hello, I get everybody? Can I get a fat shout out for Skitty, please? Oh, do you not have a an auto one set up? I don't. <laughs> you can do that? Yeah, just have it set up, but it just Tell it whenever you get raided to type the shout out command in chat. Well, shit, I can do that then. Eats the spiders too. Oh, okay, Skitty, you don't even know. You don't even know, but there's an entire plot point about somebody eating spiders in this game. Die. Oh, these guys aren't very, uh, they're not very resilient. Well, yeah, they're spiders. They're not exactly fucking tanky huh. or anything. They just kind of burst when they die. So what happened to the one that was... What happened to the one that was inside of Red's fucking oh. room earlier? What were you, uh... What were you up to? Uh, yeah. Kai, what were you doing? I was just streaming. Stream? Oh. What do you mean? T I killed all the spiders, stupid. I'll do it, though. We're just vibing, playing a bunch of weird games. Good shit. Uh, we're playing weird games, too. Here's some bones and, and intestines. Playing like, a bunch of weird games. Nice. Yeah. Thank you for the follow, Hypnogram. Oh. Yup. Sorry. Oh. Best vibes indeed. You know what's not good vibes? These spiders. Okay. 
All right, the lesson we've learned here is don't fuck with the spiders. Sounds like it might have gotten delivered already. Ooh, nice. Yeah, let me find out. Oh, shit. Here they come. Try it, try it, try it. Oh, I should try the broom, shouldn't I? Lighter fluid. Now it's just people shooting out fucking fireworks uh -huh. when somebody was knocking on my door. Try coming after me at, now, bitches. Assholes, why are we celebrating? Roe v. Wade just got overturned. This country's a fucking sham. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm not celebrating shit on July 4th, yo. Yeah. I am not fond of the, uh, the... Oh, oh Red's back. Nice. <laughs> Uh, what is this game about? Looks spooky as heck. <clears throat> um, cave, uh, mine shafts under Greenland lead to research facility investigating hallucinogenic substances in cave walls. Um, giant spiders because somebody ate so many of them they evolved to not be eaten by people. Oh yeah, it is the fruit punch, Reno. Um, from what else I can tell, there's a lot of other sh sinister shit at play, but we don't know for sure yet. How am I meant to surp how am I meant to get around this? Oh, I can just jump it. Okay, cool. This this will not this will not sustain my weight. What? What? Oof. Well, that was Okay, uh, at least it saved. Questionable. What was that? Oh. Okay. This, uh, by the way, uh, Skeddy, for those who just joined, this is Penumbra Overture. It is a game that was made by, uh, Frictional. Mm, Frictional. Yeah. Can I not? Yeah, I did get bolded Crash Bandicoot style. It was made by the people who went on to make Amnesia. This was their first, like, uh physics-based horror game thing that they've ever made. This is gonna hurt my movement speed. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Wait, okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I'm figuring out what I need to do bit by bit here. <laughs> I think it just clicked. I think I just clicked. No Indiana Jones for me. Jesus Cristo, la piedra asesina. <clears throat> so yeah, there's sinister undertones at play, but we don't really know what's actually going on in this whole story yet, but bad shit is happening. I like how the dynamite just fucking makes the spiders come out, but doesn't actually kill them. That's bullshit. This will, though. Splash damage travels far. Look at this idiot. His pathfinding's broken. Oh no, it's not. Is hitting a spider with a pickaxe overkill? Maybe, but. Oh. <laughs> if my pickaxe doesn't get me out of here, I'm literally fucked. Great. <clears throat> Wait. Do I do I do the foolhardy thing and test it? Go for it. Oh, you're fucked. Wait, never mind. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh my god. Wait, was I supposed to do that? Yeah. You were. Jen says not if the spider's Australian uh, sized. Correct. Well, we made it. There should be some insect repellent in that red and white cross box in that room. Just in case those spiders found your flesh delicious. How does my brain flesh know your fluids are leaking? Because the red tricked you. <laughs> oh my god. What an asshole. <laughs> the spidery tunnel was far from the necessary evil. More so, it served as a well deserved punishment. You thought my mind had been lost to the ravages of time. But poetic justice has struck with a sonnet and an eight legged baptism of fire. With justice now served cold, I hope that we can be good friends. And now reclaim the key to your virtues. And find a way to the mining monster. So yeah, we're also being guided and assisted by a complete fucking madman who might also be eating the spiders. <coughs> Hate to raid and ditch, but I'm not feeling so good, so I'm off to bed. I will leave a lurk. No worries, Aww. homie. Get yeah, that fucking sleep. Yeah, get that big sleep, yo. Hope you have wonderful dreams, and thank you so much for stopping by and bringing your people in here. You the best. <clears throat> hey, Spiral. Do-do-do. Mm -hmm. Do-do-do. Oh my god. Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> this is actually a nice comfy music. It's the only time we've heard anything not horrible. Posters of playmates. Now just home to dust and decay. Oh, it's like my closet. Wait, hold up. Alright, I need gas as well. <clears throat> yeah, Rummy gets it. I'm the best. I'm, I'm the best. best. I'm, I'm the, the best. best. Swag, 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 swag. <laughs> okay. We found a key. <clears throat> That's the ignition key. We need gasoline as well, though. I'm the best. I I'm love the that best. song. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I was listening. <laughs> Clara says, I feel dumber again. Thanks for remembering that song. You're welcome. Fucking. <laughs> I was listening to Furries at the Home Depot the other day. Actually, no, I was listening to it at work today on my on my break. Hmm. Furries at the Home Depot is a modern masterpiece, and I want everybody to know. Furries at the Home Depot! Furries at the Home Depot! That's up where I wanna go! God, I love that song. I, I love White Fury. It would appear I'm not supposed to be up there. Spiral did nail it, yeah. <laughs> it would stand to reason this should be used as some kind of platform, right? What the fuck is the purpose of the broom? The whole office just looked at me so puzzled then. Oh my god. Okay, now I'm gonna go get my, uh, my delivery. Alright. No worries. I'll just be here. I'm terrified. Oh my god, thank you for the host, Hex. Thank you. Oh, there's a whole other room I wasn't even looking at. Where's the gasoline? Where's the giant Mansley? It's not in here.
Huh. Ah, consulting the guide once more. <laughs> yes. You fired that missile at the giant's current position. Where's the giant, Mansley? Where's the giant, Mansley? Where's the man, Giantsley? <laughs> Where's... <laughs> Where's the lead, giant man? <laughs> Okay. Any, anyway, everyone should listen to more new metal. This is correct. You absolutely should. Everybody go listen to This World is Going to Ruin You by Vane FM. I will not ask again. Ask again very soon. <clears throat> oh. I just can't use the, anything else other than the hammer to break it. Okay. All right, I see how it is. Has Kite heard uh, home is at the uh, furry is at the Home Depot yet? I'm not sure. I would assume so. Very good. Everybody should go listen to Furries at the Home Depot by Hood Guy. Aha! Now I got you, bitch. This is a big fucking storage area. Always down for the self-titled Cold Chamber album. Yeah, even though we gave it a really low ranking on the tier list for album artwork, uh, that album is really fucking good. I'm, I'm a big fan of the song Big Truck. You know, famous, famous Cold Chamber song. Big Truck. <laughs> it starts out with a fucking clunky bass uh, intro, and then the guy just goes, Big Truck! It's, it's not a joke, by the way. That's the song. Oh. Oh, my God. Greenland Myth. Christian Foresight first published in 1903. It's been a while since we got some reading material. Everybody sit down. My favorite Cold Chamber song. Also, Loco is really good. I like Loco. Can, can we talk about how bad that Shock the Monkey cover is, though, with fucking Ozzy Osbourne? Over the past hundred years, people have seen people. Our people has seen something of a religious revelation. The Khalid and Inuit in general might be said to have seen the error of our ways, and Christianity has become increasingly embraced throughout the Arctic communities. It is the purpose of this paper to explore the true roots of our long-held beliefs and to uncover how they might be justified today in our newfound enlightenment. Okay, I'm reading some guy's college uh, report. Um. Animac bears resemblance to the English word angel. Uh, the animate are the Inuit in equivalent to the soul. The concept itself is obviously well granted in decent Christian belief. Previous thought has been blasphemous to the extent that souls are attributed to all beings, man or beast. To claim such a thing would be to simply imply that the killing of a beast for food is the same as the murder of your fellow man. And such a belief simply cannot be held by the civilized Inuit. <clears throat> it's a Peter Gabriel cover, yeah. The Tungit. Legends speak of a disembodied spirits, malicious in nature, sabotaging tools, turning hunts bad, and at times even possessing the weak or unfortunate. A Tungak appears to have no recognized or agreed... Well, how do I actually spell this? Uh, I mean, pronounce it. Uh, let me see here. That doesn't help. I'm I'm literally on a website teaching me how to say Inuit sounds now, like how how to how to like pr properly pronounce Inuit words and language. <laughs> and there's a diagram of the human like vocal like system and throat on the website. Well, yeah, you gotta learn how to say it right. Fuck. Duh. I don't know what these symbols mean. Can I just get it? Like, can I just get a fucking audio thing of it? Hold up, hold up. 
This is a, I don't this, know what any of this means. This is a this is a a trailer for a game made that, that is called this. God damn it. Uh, it, it looks to be like Ice Age or something. I don't want this. I want the fucking. How do I pronounce the word? Okay, before I go any deeper down the rabbit hole of how to pronounce pronounce the Inuit language, I'm going to give up here. Um, appears to have no recognized or agreed origin, both in terms of the legend itself and the individual being, causing great doubt to be entirely justifiable. Can we in our Christian foresight really believe in possessions and evil spirits? It seems perfectly clear to this writer that the real origin of the Tungit belief lies in the Christian demon. For, as we are taught by the generous and selfless Moravian Church, without whose support our people would no doubt have starved many years ago, the demon is capable of possession and of countless other atrocities which only the good Christian man can avoid through a lifetime of humility and devotion. God! Until recently, the Inuit people wrongly attributed the enemy at almost godlike status in certain cases and treated the Tungit as the devil incarnate. It is no major leap of faith to suggest that such beliefs have been underpinned by essential concern that there's been something missing in Inuit life. That something is undutably God. We're we're reading somebody's uh, colonization manifest manifesto. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> this, this is, is uh This is colonization. Fuck. I hope that my findings have informed and enlightened the, the atheistic few that remain in Inuit culture, and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to redeem their souls. Peter Henry Nature. Well, atheists in the chat, do you feel redeemed? Do you feel Christian now? Do you feel Christian enough? Alright, fine, we've gotten two tea time redeems. Uh, do you feel plenty religioned? Spiral. I am going what? to go fill up my teapot real quick. Do you want to entertain chat? Uh, sure. This will literally sure. be 30 seconds, I promise. Okay. Well, chat, it's just you and me now. I have taken over the street. <laughs> ah, yes, you're saved now. Yes, saved from the horrors of getting attacked by the same dog over and over. Nah, the game's enemy designs are really cool. I I'm enjoying this a lot. Speaking as a Christian, you don't like this author. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> yes. We'll just have to deal with Sasha's constant blinking form next to me. This dog uses 11,640 damage per second. You'll post elephant's foot. No, not the elephant's foot! Not the elephant's foot! Ah, fuck! Actually, I don't Bruno, really I care. see you posting fucking elephant's feet in chat. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I spiral him back, by the way. Hey, yo. All right, I decided we're going to have some apple cider tea tonight. All right, got that shit all set up. Let's go. Uh, thank you for the tea time, Redeem, by the way. Um, back, I will... Uh, it's currently heating up. Let's see here. What I miss in chat. Speaking as a Christian, I don't like the author. Thanks for the video suggestion. It was it was a furry in disguise. I've been eating burgers, burgers and, fries. and fries. Just got the Travis Scott meal. Cactus Jack just slapped my... At just slap my apple juice out my hand. I'll be at Disneyland. Fucking baller. Me when I tea. <laughs> this dog does 11,640 damage per second. <clears throat> Alright, uh, so we, we found Colonization uh, Manifesto. We have a uh, law game. I like the tinting of that window, by the way. Um, okay. No reason why this mechanical arm shouldn't still be working. Uh, oh, I see what I have to do. First, let's project. <laughs> I've never had multiple tea time redeems in one stream before. That's funny as fuck that it happened tonight. 
I, I owe a second tea time at the end of the stream, by the way. When I use these now, I feel as if I'm not the only one. It's getting crowded in there. Oh, God. I don't like that. All right. Um... Okay, I see now. Oh my god, that is so chanky. Yeah, it seems kind of clunky. I figured it out already. Well, okay, hold up. Whoa. Okay, well, I can now move freely throughout the complex. <laughs> this Doom in the fucking machine dialogue thingy reminds me of Oblivion NPCs. Yeah, wait, 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 wait yeah. for it. Yeah. Somebody had Oblivion music in their head and just... This is not the first time we made a joke about this game being like Oblivion. Or an Elder Scrolls game, period. Yeah. Okay. I know I'm supposed to get up there, though. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. There we go. Look at this. Beautiful. I Excellent. did it. Excellent. That is some Half-Life quality maneuvering on your part. I'm proud of you. Oh. Real quick, can I get a readout of when this game came out? Because <clears throat> I can't remember. It's an IRL crane game. Even if you get an item, the crane is jiggly as fuck. Why is spooky music playing? Is something happening that I don't realize? Oh, wait, hold up. I know what to do. Oh, that didn't work. How about now? Okay, fine. I'll go back to the fucking vents. Assholes. <laughs> Why is spooky music playing? I'm in a fucking storage room. There's nothing in here. Because the whole game's supposed to be spooky. Ah, uh, damn it. These flashlight batteries suck. What other reason would there be? I don't know, bruh. Storeroom neurotoxins deployed. I was 16 when this game came out. I feel kind of old. How old was I? Uh, I was 10 years old. I like how the spooky music was playing in there and out here it's just like normal again. Alright, we need to get back to the, the auxiliary shaft again. <clears throat> oh. Hold up. Key time, give me a sec. I'm gonna pour this shit. <sighs> kind of avoiding the tea time redeem uh, for a while, simply because <laughs> having hot tea when I didn't have AC on was kind of not a good idea. Okay, that's tool shed, storage, excavation. I'm looking for the auxiliary shaft. Here it is, this way. I- yeah, you did see me vent. You fucking know it. <clears throat> Here we go, this way.
Please tell me there's no doggos in here. Like no new no no new ones, please. God. That like high pitched ringing kind of like bell sound in horror soundtracks always gets to me. It's in dying light during the nighttime too. Okay, first off. Oh, the lid on the gas can is rusted shut? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Hold up, wait. Jesus Christ, he's such an asshole. Oh, wait. Yeah, smack a gas can with fucking hammer. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, you gotta dent it into shape. I could be so engineer. You can make your shaped gas. Have you ever had shaped gas before? And think it will set you free. But truth is relative, and relatives can't be trusted to bring good gifts. What you seek lies in the shafts beyond this collapsing of the sky. And if you look closely, so do I. A century of days has passed since I saw this area last. The diseased ones sought to kill poor Red, but I took them on a wild poultry chase. They ended dead. Diseased ones? They came from out the big metal door, but after all my years, I knew the case more. Hide and seek turn to seek and hide. And I buried them here beneath the solid rock sky. Was he always speaking in poems, Spiral? No, no, he was not. He was mostly just speaking. Like, the first message alone was already weird enough, and it got weirder and weirder as it progressed, but I think this is the first time he's spoken in uh, any sort of, like, specific format. <laughs> That's worrying. I think, his, I think his condition is deteriorating. Let off some steam, Bennett. You're talking about the music as you realized that my chosen volume to listen to things is way too low. Also, I like the the game isn't um <clears throat> the game is kind of quiet. All right. Well, what happens if I keep driving it forward? Oh, it just it stops. Okay. Well, oh, I think red isn't really there. Um, unfortunately, your theory, uh, I doubt that's correct, Clara. I, I think red's real as fuck. So he said something about diseased ones coming from a big metal door. How lovely. Huh. I think I know of what he speaks. Oh, oh. Do you hear that noise? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get away, get away, get away. That's... The fuck is that? Is that a worm? I think that's what killed the spider guy. Jesus fuck, okay. It's like a giant fucking like lamprey worm. Oh my god. Fucking graboids. Horrible. And I love when I'm playing my little spooky Poland Greenland horror game and graboids just appear. <laughs> I love graboids. I think they're fucking cool, and anybody who doesn't is a loser and a bit. <laughs> I've never seen Tremors, by the way. Because, like, I only really like to watch good movies. Hmm. Neither have I. Okay. Put this bitch here. I'm the best. We're actually getting pretty close to the end of the game. Like I said, this is a pretty short game. It's Most of its length comes from horrors and uh, from difficult puzzles and reading. Oh, I don't want to go there. warm air coming from down there. That's possible. A 
Industrial refinement machinery. Flashlight's getting low. Oh no, no, fuck that. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> you little. Bruh. Oh, that's Go just down there the spider someone, music. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Yeah, I also don't want to know. What did I just do? Thank you for the host. Oh my god, Noel! Noel, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Hey yo. What's up, Noel? Can I get a shout out for Noel, please, Sal? Thank you so much yeah, in advance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're we're playing a spooky game about Greenland, and I'm uh. I can't see where the cables from this lever lead either. Well, I've done something. I'm worried now. Spiders! Greenland is famously very squirry. Squirry. It is very scary, yes. Here it's especially so. You missed the graboid. Get out, get out, get out. Oh! Oh, it's a timer! I'm out of- I'm out of dynamite, too. Uh-oh. Oh, fine, whatever. <laughs> Just imagining some, Squeeze. like, some posh Englishman running around in caves, smacking spiders with a hammer. Okay. I have to go. I have to go delete some some videos. There it is. I made it. Let's go. My mic clicked when I clapped. Okay. Remaining here to the ground, I hear your trembling tootsies padding towards their final destination. Could you could you not say things like that? Fucking weirdo. What are you doing? Is calling you just as a reaper beckons me forward. I look forward to finally greeting you. I only hope I need not greet the reaper man first. He's not he's not he's not rhyming anymore. The voice almost sounded like the Half-Life scientist for a bit. Hold up. Let me let me take a trip to IMDb. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give me a second. Number Overture Video Game 2007. Who played Red? Um, Mike Hillard. Who? Wait. Hold up. Noel. Noel. You're onto something. He played. He played. <laughs> he played Kleiner in Black Mesa. You're actually. That's really, that's you're actually really funny. Ball. Holy shit! Holy shit! Nice. I, being able to tell sounds and voices is actually the fucking best. And I was actually talking about this with Trebs the other day. That's fucking amazing. I'm, I'm, I can't believe you managed to fucking pick that out. Yeah, Noel's ears are insane. Fuck. Wow. Yeah, he played Isaac Kleiner in Black Mesa. Um, he's also going to be in the Black Mesa uh, Blue Shift. Also, Red talked about his remaining year, which means he already took one off. He's Van Goin' it today, fellas. Oh, I hear theme of doggo. But to me, it's theme of animal violence. Hi, bitch. Get up, get up, get up. Come here, bitch. Stand in the liver. Yeah. Yeah, not the original Kleiner, but the Black Mesa Doctor. Still, still, the fact that it was close enough to the Half-Life 1 that it sounded like it, and then, then it turned out to be that. That's cool as fuck. Are there any more in here? Aha! Hmm. 
the way the model gyrates when it tries to get back up is really silly. What the dog doing? <laughs> right. It's uh, kind of weird. So for the, for those who are just joint, wait. More contemporary mining crates, but they look like cages. Uh, for for those who are just joining us, this is supposed to be a horror game. Well, it is a horror game because it's genuinely scaring me at times. But um, the, these dogs are supposed to be enemies that I'm supposed to want to hide from. But instead, I have pickaxe. And they are not really a threat anymore. They honestly haven't really been a threat to you throughout most of the game. No, they haven't. Which is why they took combat out of the game. Okay. More like they didn't know how to make good combat. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Refinery. Whoa. What the fuck? 30 FPS conveyor belt. This is new. Gamer Instinct. Void. Okay. Oh, I see. I have to open this up. Okay, almost. Hey, guess who doesn't know what they're doing? Uh, either of us? Yes. Hey, that one pulls Knew those it. two up. I see. Gonna keep you on as lovely love noise while I work on some stuff. No worries, Noel. Thank you again so much for dropping by. Always a good time to see you, homie. Happy to be noise. Ouch. I broke my legs. Ouch. My leg! My leg! <laughs> keep up the girl shit girl. You too. You the best. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let me see here. Six, seven. Okay, I need, I'm gonna try and reset these. Can I reset these by leaving the room? Oh, I'm, I'm trapped in here. I have to complete the mist puzzle. Yup. Yeah. You try to get the Elder Scroll in Skyrim just smacking buttons. Huh. Huh. Let's see. I'm just going to I'm just going to see if I can uh, reset by hurting myself. Hold up. Just fucking jump off to death? Yeah. You know, there was a bit in the uh, series Jam about this. Jam really? is a... Um, for those who don't know, Jam is a British sketch comedy series that I've watched a while. It was actually made by Chris Morris, who worked on Brass Eye. But Jam was meant to be a sketch comedy series that was obviously as dark as a Chris Morris sketch comedy series would be. Uh, one sketch involved a guy who wanted to die, but didn't want to jump off a large building in fear that he'd regret it halfway down. So mm. instead, his plan was to jump off a second story uh, drop 30 times. Uh, so there's, like, footage of what him... What the fuck? Yeah, so there's, like, footage of him, like, jumping, and then he, like, fucking staggers up the stairs and does it again. What the fuck? Yeah. That's literally a million times worse. What an idiot. Well, it's not like a real person, but that's like the the bit, I guess. 
That doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, that's the point, because it's Chris Morris. Uh, I suppose that's true. There's a lot of really fucked up ones. Uh, oh, I could trap the dogs in here and then steam them all. Mmm, steam dog. Microdosing jumps. Microdosing jumps, oh my god. Literally, though. Fucking, um... Yeah, there are some crazy bits in it. One of them was like, uh... Like, if y'all ever want to see some fucking weird moments, uh, look up Jam Gun in Stomach. It's a bit where a guy, like, walks into a fucking... There's, like, this weird, like, dreamy trip-hop playing, and the camera is intentionally blurry and out of focus and at a low frame rate. Hey, Alexa, welcome on in, and we are having a wonderful night, and, except for the spooky moments, but also animal cruelty is happening, so... Get back here. Mm hmm Oh, fuck, he's well, actually- he's they're actually... being equally cruel to you, like, let's make no mistake oh, here. Yeah, he actually got a lot of hits on me, he killed me. But yeah, good uh -huh. to see you, hope you're having a good night, too. Um... But yeah, so it's it's like the camera's got a low frame rate and it's blurry and out of focus and he walks into a convenience store and he walks up to the fucking register he's like, I've got a gun in my stomach. And it's pointed at you. And the fucking what? cashier's like, next. And he's like, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Watch. And then he like, he fucking strains a bit and then a gun goes off and shoots the person behind him. And then he dies. <laughs> because it goes through his spine. Yeah, but but it, it was pointed at the wrong person because he's a fucking idiot. There's also one where it's like, oh, we fucking we fucking ordered this TV. We ordered you. We ordered a guy in to help us install this TV, and there's lizards in it. And it's like a weird. Most of like the skits and jams seem to be based around people, like a bunch of people asking for help with a situation, and somebody else not really actually listening or paying attention to what they're saying, which is where the weirdness comes from. They're like, mm -hmm. we didn't order it with lizards. And he like says some stupid weird shit. I can't remember. Um, th there's one where a guy like goes outside like a fucking like, I guess probably like, it's meant to be kind of like a fucking like twist on the like say anything speaker like boombox scene. But instead of him pulling out a boombox while he's outside his fucking crush's apartment, he jumps in a wood chipper. <laughs> It's it's that kind of show. If if the the intro for like episode two, because like every episode starts off with Chris Morris reading like a weird poem and shit, and the the second one is like, I can't remember. It's like a guy who wants to kill himself by like, uh, maybe we shouldn't talk about this. Regardless, Jam is a weird Probably fucking not. show. Yeah. It's, it's a weird fucking show. I'd I'd, I'd honestly suggest checking out at least once. I got into it because of a skit where it's like a guy. A doctor wants to kill people, so he he diagnoses them with a fake illness called a symptomless coma, and then overdoses them on benzodiazepines. That's the whole thing. It's it's like I don't know if this is supposed to be funny. It's just it the whole show is just supposed to be fucking bizarre. My favorite personally is the one where a guy's like, I'm uh, I'm 40 years old. I have a beautiful wife and children. I've decided my life can't possibly be any better, so I've decided to uh, have my burial now, in my prime. So, oh my goodness! It's, it's like he goes to the fucking funeral, and he's like, "I'll have a a humorous procession, hosted by me and a couple of my friends." He's like sitting in his coffin, fucking like sitting up and laughing as people come up and give eulogies, and his family. <laughs> the camera pans to his family, and they're like, "What the fuck? Is, what is he doing?" And then. <laughs> and as his casket is lowered in, he's got a little window on it so he could wave to people, and a microphone so he could sing to his family, and then you could slowly start hearing his fucking breathing become labored because he's in a coffin. It's it's Chris Morris as fuck, dude. It's bizarre. I actually honestly kind of love it. Okay, so it's... No, I did it wrong. There we go. Wait, no. It's not right. He also did Brass Eye, which is a series, like, it's meant to be, like, a fake TV series satire thing. Which is actually really fucking funny in a lot of instances. They want to raise these. Six. Oh, well, that's it. Let's go.
God, the low frame rate conveyor belt. Holy shit. There's, there's, there's another really good bit where it's like a fucking... Oh my god, the, the boss fountain. Uh, yeah. It's the boss found. But yeah, so this is uh, the, the last bit I'm gonna talk about, because I don't want I'm sorry if I'm gushing too much about Jam and its fucking weirdness. But there's a- there's an entire, like, segment where the whole skit idea is like- like a- like a therapist office and shit, but they're not making enough money off of therapy. So they have to do phone sex, because they get paid to do that, and it- it, it happens in the middle of therapy sessions so a guy's like fucking trying to like do a therapy session to talk to somebody and he has to pick up the phone and he's like oh yes i have a massive erection it's it's quite hard it's like oh my god what the fuck and and the client's like I excuse me it's just i mean to be fair it's it's the uk so like this is i guess what they think is funny one of those huge worm things came through here all right, um, what do I do now? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Aha. This looks flammable, doesn't it? Regardless. Oh. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm not getting that back, am I? Vex says, Christ on a crush, friggin' Locust somehow got in my room behind my monitor and started that oh loud God. chirping thing they do. Oh, Holy God. Holy fuck. What the fuck? That's awful. <laughs> God, seeing a stationary spider scares the shit out of me. I would have fucking tried to burn my house down if that shit happened. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Get the fuck down from there. Keep your hands off the flammable thingy. But, like, it's fun. Oh my god, can you please fucking- Okay, hold up. Can I not- I'm running out of rocks to do this with. I've run out of rocks. Yes! <clears throat> I did it. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Um, oh, wait, what? I about left my chair. I didn't know if my PC was about to explode or if I done got got. <laughs> That's I don't know what the alternative is meant to mean. The conveyor belt must come out of this hole. <clears throat> Whole facility must have been a death trap. Wonder if I can stop it. Yeah, I wonder if you can stop it too. This fan would slice meat in a millisecond. Good thing I'm not meat. Dies immediately. <laughs> oh, if only. Oh, okay, fine. I guess that doesn't cut it. Gotta grab the rocks again. <clears throat> what am I trying to send up here that I can't normally send? Also, I keep breaking my legs. Where does it end? Nobody knows. I think you're gonna need a bigger stick. Oh yeah, I am. But I, I got this, I got this. Oh, that was a meaty sound effect. Yeah! Alright, and what was the purpose of that? Okay, it needs to be trying to send up something that I can't send up normally, right? But a barrel doesn't fit. Does it? The clearance is too low. Is there anything else in this room that needs to be sent up there? 
Come on. Okay, I see now. Wait. That's not a pallet. What am I talking about? Who am I talking to? <clears throat> Two points. Yeah! Sparrow, what kind of things have you been watching lately? Uh, recently I've been getting caught up. Well, not caught up. I've been re-watching uh, the Castlevania Netflix series. Yeah! Yeah, I'm on, like, season four. Um, this will be the second time I've been watching it. I really like it. Dracula's um, just like me, for real. Oh, excuse me. Uh, you yeah, good? I mean... <laughs> I, uh, I really like... Um the first two seasons especially, but the whole thing's pretty solid. Uh, I've been meaning to check out more anime. Um, one of my group of friends is watching uh, JoJo right now. They're watching uh, part two. Very so good. So I might, the next time they watch that, I might join them and uh, catch the catch the madness. I, I love that series so much. I could watch it over and over. I have bad news. I might have actually... Oh, never mind. I got it out. I got it out. Uh. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of stumped here. What am I supposed to be sending through this conveyor belt? That I can't normally send. Um, also... I think I might have fucked myself. Because that red device, yeah. as your throat going at the moment, is getting better. It's getting better, yeah. <laughs> it is getting better. Thank you for checking in. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think I fucked myself. I think that red thing, I tossed it away and we lost it. Give me a second. Wait, is it going to send me all the way back again? Please tell me it won't. Time to reenact that jam segment again. God damn it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, this, we need this. <clears throat> okay, so Cell, what I was supposed to do is put this onto this conveyor belt, right? And when it... It should come through up top of there, and the, it, the conveyor belt sends it through that hole, and then it pushes the ladder out. I was trying to free it by wedging rocks behind it like a fucking caveman. Oh my god. That's what's supposed to happen. Also, hi, Patch. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Or welcome back hi, in, Patch. rather. Okay. And what I did was I tossed it down there, which means I lost it forever. What I'm actually supposed to do is exactly what I thought I was doing. Not quite, actually. Oh, yeah, there we go. It wasn't, like, in immediately clear was the problem, I feel. Just had to break the motor, I guess. I figured as much. Usually fan puzzles require that, but... Oh. I don't like that noise that we were just hearing. Oh. We are now such good and lasting friends. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps... Okay, I was supposed to send it this way. Wait. Why do you say final meal, Red? Why do you say final meal? Texas, thankfully, I was still hyper aware from the locust. Easy. 
That gives me mech warrior triggers. Oh god. It, it keeps <laughs> playing the spooky noise every time I go in that vent. Here we go. So what was the point of that there? Oh, I need to do a puzzle with barrels now, do I? Post the Raven ECM. <laughs> Okay. Now comes the barrel section. Or not? Wait. No. I don't think so. I'm getting ahead of myself looking at the guide. Just because I don't, I don't want us to be dicking around, you know, forever trying to solve a puzzle, you know. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, every now and again, you forget we're playing a horror game. Whoa. Oh my god, it's a fucking memorization puzzle. Okay. You think I can just tank it? Uh, probably not. It saved when I entered here, though. Okay, I got it. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I played 40 hours of Monster of MWO in the last two weeks. I don't usually game that much. Mech Warrior Online. Oh yeah, Jen's been getting into Super Mech Warrior Online. That's the good shit. Okay, so it's okay. You, then here, then here, then here. No, it's an insta kill. There's no way to tank it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hold up. You know, you're probably falling over, but I like to think that you're actually melting. That would be funny, yeah. Okay. Uh, then here. Fuck! Alright. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm definitely using a guide for this section because I don't want to spend, like, an hour memorizing this shit or writing it down. You almost had the whole thing. Almost. Wait, what? It's the next one. Yeah. Oh. It saves right before the sequel, like the sec like the sequence starts over. The next one? The one after it. You have to skip one. Okay. This kind of puzzle is not this game's strong suit. That was just me being complacent. Okay, so there's that. There's enough of a pause that I can just go to the next one, okay, without having to wait for it to go off. That was my mistake. What? That was supposed to be it. Huh. Let me Weird. see again. Okay, so you get that f that spot free. Okay. This one's free. Then this one. Then this one. And then... Three. And four. Five. Okay, there we go. And then... The next one is right here. And then it's this one. And then this one. 
Um, Clara, my health is at maximum. And Jenk just added me as a friend on stream, by the way. But didn't show oh. up, so we're good. No. It won't show your Steam overlay normally. Yeah. I don't feel bad about, like, using a guide for this game on stream, to be honest, just because, you know, again, like, it gets cryptic, but at least it's not, like, Black Plague. Locked. Locked. What do you think scarier, the flashlight or the fucking, um... Glow stick? Oh my god. Glow stick, for sure. The way that sound clips seems to imply that it's not supposed to be sounding like that. It sounds like it might be some kind of reverb or delay effect accidentally creating a fucking feedback loop. <laughs> yeah, probably. Ooh. Ah, shit. Man, every time I hit 11 o'clock, I always hit a fucking sleep sleepy wall. Sorry, yo. That's okay, it's not your fault. Well, it's the good been news happening is... a lot lately to me. The good news is we're in the final stretch. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm not supposed to hit it. I'm just supposed to fucking access it, which is not what I've been doing with vents for the entire game. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like, they have you break so many vents, and then all of a sudden they have one that's a door. It's so... It's so unintuitive. Yes, it is unintuitive. Um, Granted, at least they, you know, like, got better with this. Oh, well, yeah. Much series. Okay. I may never get out. Okay, they're not breaking, which seems to imply they can't be broken normally. With normal means. The cart can't be dragged backwards either. Oh wait, no it can, it's super can, okay. That's as far back as it goes, though. Let's see what's in shaft 12. The iron mine shaft. So, so there's lead mines above, and iron mines connected to the actual research facility. If I'm gathering this correctly. Hello. Goodness, it almost seems mean to hit the dogs at this point. Yeah, it kind of does. Try the hammer. The hammer doesn't kill in enough hits, and I prefer the pickaxe. Alright. What I wouldn't do for a map right about now. Shaft 13 in the refinery. How's the bar? It goes aight. I don't really run the bar, remember? I just kind of clean up. What the dog doing? Okay. I've been to shaft 12. What's in shaft 13? Here we go. Hammer the chain. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I should try that next time I'm there. Oh. Yeah. I know what that means. That's like a bathroom. Ah. Uh, uh. Why is this place trying to kill me? Reminds me of Stalker. I wouldn't say that. Oh, no. Fuck that, I'm out of here. Please don't, man. I got a broom and I ain't afraid to use it. Do these caves go anywhere that aren't spiders? Okay, here we go. Oh, ah, hello.
<laughs> it would appear the broom is functionally useless. Okay, so I have to be in here. I just don't want to have to deal with the spiders, but it seems like an inevitability no matter where I go. They make disgusting fucking noises, too. They really do. Sound design in this game is cool, but it's also just fucking foul. Yeah. What, you having flashbacks to the tongue again? Oh, I made it. Twenty fourth February. Wait, hold up. Can I block that up at least? No, I can't. The combat music is still playing, implying that they're still coming after me. Boots. Helmet. With a blank note. Jerky. That is useless. Jerky. Flashlight's getting low, that's not good. The pipes are dry, this whole place is dead. The water that's collected is a shade browner than it should be. Ah, uh, protagonist Philip, notable uh, expert on water brownness. <gasps> oh, yes. Look at all the fl batteries I picked up, and look how little it recharges the flashlight. This is bullshit. <laughs> yep, that's oh. so why the glow sticks better. <laughs> ah, so the people that he <clears throat> killed, these, these, these must have been where the people died, or the, the diseased ones that he was talking about. Who's the anthro? That is Spiral Cell. They are a wonderful friend of mine. Who I've, who hey, I've known for a great many years, and they've been here streaming with me since the fucking beginning. Yeah, Coolest I don't think I've actually introduced myself on uh, on the channel today, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, do uh, it. Mm. Hang on, sorry, I thought I was going to sneak. Oh, good. But yeah, hi, hello, my name's Spiral Galaxy. I'm a Fennec Fox AI hybrid VTuber. I'm on hiatus right now, but uh, normally I stream eh, anywhere from two to four days out of the week. Usually a couple times during the week, and then on the weekend. Um, I'm going to be moving pretty soon, which is why I'm on hiatus right now. But eventually I'm going to be moving to a mostly evening stream schedule. I like to play anything that's like sci-fi and mecha themed especially. But uh, really, if a game's challenging and fun, I'll probably play it. So yeah, that's what I like to do. Yeah. I could have sworn I had you, like, at, at the very least say something in the beginning when we entered the lab. But I think maybe just... Nah. I, I, yeah, I guess that was probably an error on my part. <laughs> it's all right. There, Clara says, the answer to the question, what if a Fennec Fox hosts a nano machine or AI? Yeah, essentially. Yeah, that's, that is pretty much exactly it. Yep. Runo says from the Frictional Games Twitter, why is there a broom that can be barely can barely be called a weapon in Penumbra <clears throat> Overture? The team had a, had a brainstorm on how they need to have a, some real crap weapon. And Luis Rodero suggested a broom, a nod to a diehard arcade game. That's an interesting explanation. Oh my god, I've had it with these fucking spiders. Uh, yes, Gent, they did say mecha. Yeah, the mecha is less noticeable until you look at my legs. Star Fox legs. Hmm. I think mine are cooler. They are, actually. Okay. But yeah, uh, Spiral is a f longtime friend of this channel. They've been here since the beginning. They are the coolest, and I love them. Big mm. ups to the homies. Yeah. You know what Big I ups. don't love? Spiders. 
I'm sick and tired of these motherfucking spiders and these motherfucking tunnels. Yeah, you're right. I'm so sick of this shit. And I'm also sick of getting fucking lost in these tunnels. I just want to get out of the fucking... Who's going to win in the fight? A bar worker or a fox AI thing? I don't know. Um, well, I don't have metal legs, but I do have guns. And guns don't really work on gray goo, so I'm kind of fucked. Speaking of goo, what a horrible noise. Yeah. Call it a gray goo scenario when I nut. That's the worst God. thing I've ever said. Why why do you have to say that when that fucking noise is going in the background? <laughs> Sounds like one of those monsters is giving the Gawk Gawk 5000 over there. The what? You know, the Gawk Gawk 5000. I don't know what you mean. I can't really elaborate. I'm already dan dancing on the edge of TOS. Bruh, I was just talking about a bunch of skits from Jam that would absolutely obliterate this fucking stream. Don't oh, sucking that. dick. Oh, uh, there we go. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> so, a, a call from Red would seem to imply that this is where I need to go next. But... Hold up. We're having fun with a bad dragon. Yeah, I suppose so. <clears throat> Where the fuck? Yep. That's correct, Bex. And that's also part of why my character has those legs, too. Part of it, anyway. There, there's a lot that goes into it. Oh, I can just move this rubble, even though that rubble over there is smaller and can't be moved. <laughs> so this entire segment was just like a fuck you. It was just a fuck you deal with spiders segment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know about you, Selv. I, I feel like you're probably in the same boat as me where it's like, I think I think I'm ready for the game to be over. Yeah, like it's, it, it, this is kind of the thing I was worried was going to happen is like this game was going to start to get boring because it's like an early idea of what Frictional thought would be a good video game. Yeah, the main reason I played it was just because again, like combat and it's not as spoopy. It's but, interesting. Yeah. It is but, cool. like so far, I'm not nearly as invested in the story as I would have been in, like, Amnesia, for example. That's fair. That said, I'm still invested somewhat in what we're seeing here, mainly because of, I want to like, see it through, because it's cool. Yeah, there's, but there's like, a lot of elements of, like, the, the, the story threads are cool, but I honestly... I'm having that feeling like I did with The Witness, where I kind of am beginning to doubt that we will see a proper, meaningful, like, so, like resolution to all of this. Right, hold up, just back. <laughs> Put furry magnets on the metal legs. The magnets feel funny. Hold up, maybe I just have to wind this bitch up. Okay. Okay. I need to have bolt cutters, which I don't have. That's the problem, okay. Where are the bolt cutters? Where are they? Uh, shit. Beautiful. Okay, I have to go to tool storage, which is near section C. Alright. Listen off to <clears throat> You can make one of those in the zone. No, I can't. Oh, the electromagnetic magnetic pulse. Uh no clue. Did I ever tell you all about the time I fucking read about the Grey Goose scenario in elementary school? Don't do that. <laughs> you read about it in elementary? Because of a uh you remember the fucking spy gear Hasbro toys and shit? 
Mm, there was an entire yeah. uh, line of like young adult novels and stories that were based around it, where where like it's a bunch of like like kids in the suburbs that like fucking discover this shit and they use it to like take down super hackers. It's like really silly shit. But there was like an entire like book that was about the Grey Goose scenario. It was called the Doomsday Dust. It's fucked up. And I'm like, oh my god, that's a terrifying thing. That could happen, and I spent days living in fear of it. Hmm, checks out. What me, What checks out? Me living in fear of something that probably won't happen in my lifetime? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I think this is where I gotta go. Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that is correct. Screwdrivers, bolt cutters. Okay, I notice any time the fucking screen turns that color, that usually means there's uh, an autosave happening. What's up here? Was this door always open? Oh, that's where I entered from. Bye. I don't trust like that. My tea's starting to get cold. Let me know if we're going on for too long, Cell, because we can always, like, you know, put a stop on this. And I can finish it <laughs> myself another day. Because I, 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 mean, I don't want to burn out my co-hosts. It's up to you. Eh. Um, because, like... Oh. How, I guess it largely depends on how long... Oh, excuse me. Um, on how long um, you think this game has left uh, lengthwise huh. if, it, if it would make another stream's worth of content? Uh, let's see. There seems to be another, like, we're only halfway through the guide, but that's because the rest of the half of the guide is literally all of the fucking, um, the guidebook. Oh, fuck. The guidebook includes all of the in-game documents. So there's not a whole lot left. Let me see. Okay, we gotta get back to Shaft 12. That's where we're off to next. If I can, if I can remember where it is. I don't know this game like the back of my hand like I do with fucking Condemned. Which is unfortunate. Did I just go in a complete circle? Texas, remember my elementary school had a program where you read a book from a list and I take a test and get points. Um, and those points accumulated to prizes. The more complex the book, the more points. I was reading stuff like Beowulf in third grade because I wanted the top tier prize. Isn't that funny how we, uh, fucking incentivize learning with kids with just, like, silly shit like that? Uh, Spiral, you are being asked to check your DMs by somebody, by the way. Yeah, I saw. Okay, cool. Wasn't sure. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's eat it. I like this little theme. Oh my god, that was so silly looking. Let me see if I can find any screenshots. That's an only a cinematic trailer. The flashlight mm. making a... What? It's an RTS. Interesting. Uh... Cell. We have, what? um... Giant worm. I mean, that doesn't look very giant to me. You know what looked giant to me was the other worm. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is pretty giant compared to a regular worm, but we've seen, like, big, big worms. Oh. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Copenhagen Post. Superstition extinct. Death mine still breathing. Mining now forms the largest single industry in Greenland. The iron mine retains its excellent work record in spite of the recent disappearance of an as-yet unnamed worker. We've discovered that the man in question was a young laborer brought in from mainland Europe, possibly Denmark. The man disappeared ten years ago and the mine foreman has now exercised his power to declare him presumed dead. Alright, well, uh, sucks to be him. Yeah, it looks giant to me too. I'm with Gent on this. It's me? What do you mean by that? Scientific journals. 
industrial materials. Ah! Sounds like you got heckin' squeaky shoes. Yeah, hold up, so we're we're about to we're about to utilize the puzzle mechanic that persists through adventure games through all eras, no matter how inaccurate it is in the modern age. Take a guess for what it is. Mm. We have a we have a door that's locked, but the key is still in the keyhole on the other side. Oh, so what, like lockpicking or something? No, it's you slide the newspaper under the door and then use the screwdriver to push the key through where it then falls into the newspaper and you slide it out. Oh, that's actually pretty smart. Oh, yeah, but it's in like every adventure game ever. Games huh, in the I 80s never... and 90s use this puzzle. Uh-oh. Whoa! I didn't like that music. They left this blood. The blood is deep. Head is keering. Keeping. Seeds devour. I can't even hope to read this. This writing squalled everywhere. It must be an ultraviolet ink. Definitely the product of a deranged mind, but whose? Um. There's. There's giant slugs in the wall. Um, I think things are getting worse. Oh god, this is gross. Things are getting <laughs> worse. I'm gonna make that puzzle for my game. Runo, please do it. I want to see the fucking newspaper key puzzle persist. Oh my god. I think I know how they felt not being able to get out. Right? God, I'm fucking looking over my shoulder shoulder at all times now. Something broke into the room not too long ago. There's blood and slime everywhere. Jesus fucking Christ, bruh. This is this is way, way, way outside of my pay grade. <laughs> Jesus. Even on your holidays, because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things float through my tea. Through my pen, the brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put my food away. No worries. All right, so red has seen better days, it seems. All right, back to section C. Canteen sip, thank you, Jen. I actually just finished my teacup. I, I hope that counts. <clears throat> Vex says that the whole book thing did help in the long run. Sad when you know more literature than your high school English teachers. That's unfortunately fair. Okay. There's a blank note here. Oh, Jesus, was that you? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, you gave me a fucking scare. <laughs> I'm, I'm stretched. Also, I just want to say, um, fucking the guide real quick that was that I've been following because the puzzles at this point have become increasingly cryptic, um, and also just the game is getting very difficult to navigate. Uh, when when you switch on the black light and you see the writing on the wall, um, mm -hmm. it says in the guide, switch on the light by the entrance and check out the budding Jack Nicholson. Excuse me. 
Yeah. Huh? Oh, wait. I have to go back to where I was because the blank note needs a uh, black light. Okay, this will be quick. I know how to do this. Okay. Shaft 13. That's not the right entrance. It should be in this direction. Joker? I guess. Roxy says I have a ship idea. Oh, God. Shaft 12. Yeah, I've noticed another big thing about the game's quote-unquote difficulty is just coming from it being a fucking maze now. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing yep. a fucking Slenderman's Shadow game. Ryan, I'm expecting something to be chasing you. Well, I mean... There were things chasing me at some point. Yeah, but you dogs. killed all of them. Of course I killed all of them, because it's my job. Katryoshka, yo, shout out to the sidewalk for keeping me off the streets all those years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good oh one. God. Also, welcome in, Katryoshka. <clears throat> that's a good portmanteau name. I like that. So are there, like, a bunch of smaller things of you just inside of you? Is that what's going on? Are you ready oh for God. Stalker 2? Eh. Here we go. Storage password. Okay, that's fucked up. The storage password doesn't work unless you look at the note. You can't sequence break. You have to use the note in there. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna be real. Look, game designers, if you're gonna have a segment where the game requires you to input a password to get somewhere, like through a door or anything like that, all right, let people sequence break let people sequence break, all right? Please don't have a segment where we need a password to open a door, and if we know the password beforehand, it doesn't work unless we fucking, um, unless we fucking, like, go and, like, figure out, like, and, like, find the thing that has the actual puzzle solution on it. Like, what just happened, all right? Just don't do that. If I, if I want to do it quick, I don't know how long ago the raid was, but Raid Pog, ah, you came in with Skeddy, right? Uh, wonderful to see you. Mm -hmm. Never too late to say hi. There we go. See, now it works. That's fucked up. Don't do that. What a... What a weird choice to make. Probably just an oversight on their part. Nah, that... I feel like that's a choice. You would have to... You would have to program in a statement that means that... Uh, fuck. I feel like you would have to program in a statement stating that... Um... It wouldn't work unless you've picked up the note. That seems like it's a it's a deliberate decision on their part. Oh my god, there's a bunch more fucking areas. The hunger is becoming rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels with the tools with which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last view. Be careful. The shiny, solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. Let us Tom Brady our way through. Have you watched Black Lagoon? I love Black Lagoon. It is my favorite anime. <clears throat> I want to watch it with Spiral. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll watch it on... on... If not Rocco's server, my own server at some point. Good stuff. Uh, I have I have news, Spiral. I think we should call it a night because it's it's like f it's a half hour past when I usually like tend to end co-hosted streams, and mm -hmm. we've got like. Look at this. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little more than just an hour's left of content. I think you're right because yeah, I'm... I I think I think it's time we we I'm we feeling the fatigue. Yeah, I'm feeling you. the fatigue. It's it's listen. I love I love the story threads and atmosphere of this game, but frictional. My God, it, I I do appreciate that the puzzles got a little bit better in Amnesia because they got more yeah. complex than this in fucking in Black Plague. God, fuck that. And it's like, man, this is not fun. 
This is not fun, dude. Amnesia never had levels designed like this. Give us at least a fucking hand-drawn map, dude. Fucking James Sunderland drew his own map. And he's American. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I think I think we should call it a night. Yeah, that um, sounds like a plan. I can't really find a location to save, but I'm pretty sure it auto-saved as soon as we entered. I like how I never made use of the dog steaming chambers. That's literally what those are. All right. Uh, so let me bring us on down to the bar, and we are going to uh, give ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a comfy decompression as we uh, move towards a raid. There's a Black Lagoon video game. I don't think though. I don't think so. And I appreciate the comment, gent. Um, I do. I do very much like um, Battle Maids. I personally am not into Roberta as a character just because of her arc and her personality. But I, I do love Black Lagoon. I, I personally try to give off more Revy vibes. Um, <laughs> Patch also came in to say, I know this game. I remember a good friend of mine played this. Noel says this is too silly. This is too, too silly. silly. This, this fucking game design is too silly. Noel, I, look at this. We are supposed to navigate this. This is why we're calling it a night. And also I'm out of flashlight batteries. Let's go to the bar, fellas. <laughs> so everybody um i apologize that i couldn't I, I you know what's funny is literally like last month i was like man i sure i'm gonna try to not speed run entire games in one fucking stream with people and then this happened <laughs> um <clears throat> it keeps well happening. you try you tried you thought you remembered more about the game than what you did i did because i could have sworn i'd beaten it but i don't actually think i have um maybe i'm just oh. remembering watching a playthrough um Oh, there but, is a Black Lagoon video game, apparently. I think it's probably a PSP or PS2 game with how those tend to be. Um, but yeah, so it's like, I guess I probably just kind of thought I remembered more than I did. It might have just been me remembering somebody's Let's Play. I just remember this game being shorter than it actually is. Make no mistake, Black Plague is longer. Um, regardless, uh, so what were your impressions on it? I mean, it definitely feels like a frictional game's like early work. And that was kind of how I felt about it. Is is like I like it about on the same level as their other offerings, just a little bit less because they didn't quite have their game design figured out. Although I do enjoy the idea of putting combat in a horror game. I think that that can make it a lot of fun if you do it right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like Resident Evil Seven, which we actually streamed uh, a year yes, and a half did. ago. Oh um, yeah, forever ago. That felt like ages ago. It is worth noting uh, that this game is best viewed through the important lens of this was. Frictional, the original Penumbra, because this is Penumbra Overture, Penumbra period was a tech demo to showcase their Newton engine. We are playing what is essentially uh, the continuation of a tech demo. This game is meant to be a... Um, Interesting. It's a video poker game. Uh, it's on the PS Vita. Right. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's, it's important. it's important to note. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shout, shout myself out while I'm at it. Yeah. I know you're going to ask me to do that. I know you're going to ask me to do that later, so I'm just going to do it now. Oh, I would have done it myself, too. Patch says Resident That's Evil okay. 5, the best horror game with combat. Patch. Patch, you cannot be doing that kind of shit this late, yo. Anyway. Yeah, it is important to note that this is essentially a continuation of a tech demo. It is very much the... Without this, we wouldn't have Amnesia or Soma. And that's important. It's important to note. Um... But yeah, um, it's it's atmosphere is definitely its best part, and that atmosphere unfortunately is not enough to carry it, and it also doesn't really last long enough. Because listen, you remember the beginning, Cell. Me in a mm -hmm. lot of moments, genuinely scared. There have been a lot of moments in this game where I was genuinely really, really horrified because of the tension, which just felt really, really good. Me crawling around in caves, looking at the documents, and trying to piece together what had been happening. It's cool shit. Uh, the the Morse code moment was cool, but it's just. It's just too rough around those edges, bro. Sometimes it's, too it's rough. just too much. Sometimes it's just, it's too, just too much. Um, but I, I honestly had a wonderful time having you on regardless. I think it was a really cool of thing. Course. We both love frictional games, and I figured, well, we can play something that's not quite as intensive as Amnesia, but it's a cool little experience that'll that we'll both kind of have interesting inputs on because it's 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 built by and very closely related to something that we both enjoy. Um mm -hmm. so that'd be cool. Um, yeah, we did all recognize it as Morse Code Cleric, because, I mean, 
I don't know, Morse code's a pretty recognizable language, I feel, at this point. Um, I'd yeah. say so. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for the next time I have somebody on. It'll probably be something... Um, my initial plans were to have Cell on and play The Suffering, which I decided maybe might not be the best thing to do, considering that's a, a very, very heavy game in terms of uh, subject matter, considering there are multiple references to heinous crimes within like the first 30 seconds, and the entire, the entire cast that you think is going to be your main cast is all killed off in the first minute. It's ridiculous. Um... But yeah, thank you again so much for coming on, Cell. And I had a long, I had a wonderful time. Great banter, uh, good discussions about the game, and overall, just like a really, really enjoyable, comfy time. And I appreciate that you made me not feel like I was going to die, even though I <laughs> kind of still did. But I mean, even though, yeah, and even though I totally wasn't rooting for your demise at any point. Moving on. I, I can't. I can't say I was surprised to hear that. It'll. It'll. It'll be a pleasure to have you on again as well. It's a thought that counts. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a pleasure to have you on, and I hope to have you on again sometime very, very soon. And everybody, remember to go follow Spiral Cell. They have a Twitter. They have a Twitch. Again, they're currently on hiatus, and they will be back at some point in at least a month. Um, and when they do, it's going to be the hype as shit. And you can bet yeah, I'll be I there know. in the fucking audience at least. Do you need raid yeah. suggestions? Let me see who's on, actually. Um, <clears throat> I saw that Sen was on. Ooh, if Sen's uh, Bethany, on. Bethany's streaming, too. Sen's on. I'm actually raid Sen. I fucks, I fucks heavy with Sen. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, any any uh, any departing words for the homies? Huh. I don't know. If you want to check out some of my past VODs, I also have a link to my YouTube um, on my Twitch page, so if you're interested in seeing some of the stuff I've gotten up to before. Can I don't I have every single video on there, but I've got a lot of them. I'm just gonna link it, actually. Um, uh, yeah, if you want. Here's the link to Spiral's VODs. You can click on that link and go check out some of their streams. I think I might be some on some of those, too, so if you want more of me, you can also see me there. Um, That's true. I think you're in at least two of them. <laughs> I'm in mean, at least, I'm in mean, at least zero of them. <laughs> Kaiju Mad Scientist. Yeah, Sen's awesome. Yeah, Kai Sen's fucking dope as fuck. Actually, we love him. We, we love do. Him. He's the coolest. Fucking me, me and him both went out to go pick up Taco Bell at the same time. We were chatting on the phone in Discord. It was the best. Um, oh yeah. But yeah, uh, and and again, of course, I, I I can't I can't not gas up my co-hosts. But love yourself. You're the coolest, and I can't wait to have you on again. Um, I'm gonna mute you. myself. Thanks for having me. Of course, it's always a pleasure. I, I come on, man. You've been here since the fucking beginning. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep, I gotta keep the cool people around. Um, I'm <laughs> since gonna be... we played fucking Overwatch of all things. Oh my god, yeah, that was soon. It'll have been six years since I met you when when it gets to October, and that's actually <laughs> kind of terrifying. Isn't that it's... wild? Jesus fucking Christ. I <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually stayed in consistent contact with any internet friends for that long. Um, yeah. Usually either they fade away or we move on to other things or I, I find out that they're fucking awful people. Um, <laughs> swipes. Oh, thank you. Sp thank you, Spiral. You Get fucking, fuck you fucking deleted here. it before you even half, read it. Swipes, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, that was Spiral that did it. God, fucking before I even finished reading it. Holy Ooh, shit. Fastest band in the West, baby. Let's go. All right. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to meet myself in the call real quick, and I'm going to uh, give us a quick out row, and I will rate us out. So I will tend, I will get back to you in just a moment, homie. All right. I forgot to turn the departure music all the way down. That's on me. Um, regardless, let me set up the raid the good homie oh first we gotta come with a fucking raid message shit um how about how about um how about uh can we come up with something funny about eating spiders how about how about eating spiders is that uh is that like a good fucking thing how, how, how can we make that funny how can we make that into a good raid message um fucking um tasty spider tasty spiders sounds too fucking simple and red raid doesn't cut it fuck i should have thought about this harder um god god 
shit, shit, shit. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Um, fucking spiders are tasty. Fuck it. Who have you eaten enough spi- Cell. Cell. Have you forgotten that we eat, like, multiple spiders in our sleep every day? Here we go. Here's your raid message. Spiders are too tasty. If- if Sen asks for context, I insist that you do not tell him. None of you motherfuckers tell him what this statement means. Please. I need- I need y'all to keep him in the dark. We're gonna start the raid. Um, so. Y'all know the drill. Go on down to twitter.com slash too much Sasha. I post my fucking stream updates. I'd be posting memes. I'd be boosting the homies. I'd be doing everything out here that I can to make a positive impact on the people around me. Um, and I hope I made a positive impact on all of you tonight because y'all made a positive impact on me. Y'all are the coolest motherfuckers. It means so much to me that y'all are stopping by. Always remember that. I'll be live on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Stalker Tuesdays. Might just be playing some comfy modded anomaly. Nothing to, nothing really too big. Shit like that. We'll see how it goes. Um, and I will see y'all in Sen's chat. Everybody, have a wonderful night and be safe.